Good to know. Oh, yeah, that's when we go live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm yeah, not sure if any of that got in, but I kind of hope it did. Nah, uh, nah it's safe. <laughs> hello. Welcome to uh, High Rollers d and I am Baby Humes, uh, oh. and I'm here to be your Goo Goo Gaga Dungeon Master. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 you didn't like that one, Trot. No. Uh, no. Um, but yeah, Goo Goo hey. Gaga Dad. <laughs> I said Dungeon Master. I mean, he... Oh, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody! Welcome uh, to this episode. Uh, I am joined as you know by these people. Hi, yeah. I'm a person. We got Trot. We got Kim. And on the other side, we got Tom, and we got we Annan. For uh, some reason, I just imagined like what would happen if you just punched me in the face. And <laughs> <laughs> just like really dexy. Like, it's always chaotic over on this side of the yeah. table, and Re just immediately just, just fucking dexy. clocks me. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be one of them streams. It's gonna be one of those streams. Cursed today. energy. Yep. Today. Cursed energy. Oh. No, Katie. Unfortunately, she's not very well. So F F's in chat. Um, uh, get well. Yeah. It's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. It's not that like she's got a cold. I meant to say she's got a cold. Like, support like mess like messages in chat, and but it, my brain just locked onto press F. To pay your wow. Hell. So I say, I'm very tired, guys. Press F. For I get was, well soon. I've had very little sleep. I've been oh traveling God. all day, so I'm gonna. It's gonna be one of those streams today. <laughs> um, a couple of quick things to talk about before we jump into the game. Uh, we got a couple of lots of other bonus streams going on. Oh, yeah, we do. Loads Jeez. of extra stuff going on at the moment. First things first, very High Roller specific. If you didn't check it out, last Wednesday, we did the first episode of our brand new Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition game. Yeah. Um, so if you want to see other TTRPGs, this is your perfect chance to go and watch us play a very different system. Very different to D&D. Still fancy, still elves and dwarves and all that kind of stuff, but very, very different. One of the party members is a lawyer. Um, so that's saying to look forward to. We did our first episode. It was really fun. Um, those are that is available on Twitch vods, and episode one is going to be available on our YouTube channel. It's going it, to you can go watch it right now. I think not right now, not right now, but very soon. You when can you go watch, watch this it. vod, uh, it will be available. There you go. There so you go. from later, it will be available. Yep. Um, but in the future future episodes of Warhammer are going to be Patreon and members only. So you can still watch it on Twitch. If you don't have Patreon, if you can't subscribe to Patreon or, or members, don't worry, you can still watch it live on Twitch for free. But we're kind of doing this as a way to help promote our YouTube members and help promote our Patreon. Um, but also because it is this bonus content, we kind of want to keep things you know, locked in for the mainstream on YouTube and stuff like yes. that. So yeah. There you go. So that's extra Warhammer content. It's very good. It's very good. It's this crew. Um, Katie's not joining us for it because it's not really her kind of cup of tea, but she's going to be in other stuff in the future. Uh, we're going to do like things like the One Ring and do other sorts of games. Um, but it's really fun. It's very, very different. Come and check it out and support different RPGs, right? D&D is not the only TTRPG out there. We want to show off and, and play some more games. But speaking of more D&D, uh, you can also <laughs> catch me and Rhiannon as players, uh, in in fact, well, throw, throw it over to Rhiannon so Hello. it's not just on my face. Tell us what we're going to be doing, Rhiannon. We're going to be playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's game. I was just like, it's been on my face for too long. I feel like it shouldn't be on my face. <laughs> playing a game. Tomorrow from 6 till 9, GMT. Nice. Me and Mark are going to be doing uh, Idol Champions, a uh, little six-week mini-campaign. With Fury God. of the Black Rose. Yes. It's all Dragon Lance stuff. It's going to be really cool. Yep. So we've got Mark as a player. I'm playing. We've got. Um, as who? Sentry. Oh, what? Mark is a super secret, just been revealed character. Yep. That's Brand new character cool. coming to Idol Champions. Uh, Miria Elethrin, uh, oh, who is a, a Sylvan Astri elf from Crean. You finally have a character that can go. I finally have a character that goes in the game, yeah. It's really it's great. cool. Um, but we've also got, we've got Johnny from Oxventure. And Ellen, and Ellen as well. Yep. yep. And we've got Gabe Hicks, who's also playing. Yep. And then it's being DM'd by B. Dave Walters, which That's is right. gonna be amazing. Yep. We've been chatting away. We've got so there's some exciting things happening already. I think that there's been like some votes as well. They're doing this yeah. thing where you can vote to a kind of affect the story and stuff like that. Yeah. I think the first one was all about Sentry and mm. what Sentry's gonna have to deal with. You can also give Sentry some bonuses and stuff, and that's gonna be going on. Oh. For the next TV six weeks. CNE games. CNE like games, yeah. That's where it's going to be. But check right. out mine and Ree's Twitter. Yes, it'll all be over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, so you can check that out. That's going to be tomorrow uh, on CNE Games Twitch. Uh, and it's going to be for the next six weeks. And it'll be available on their YouTube and stuff like that as well. Um, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, okay. and, uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Um, and that's, I think that's it for everything. We've got a fan art video. 
That's oh, right. yes. new fan art video in the break. Yeah, I've assembled together the finest of fan arts. Thank you so much if you have been providing art since June 2022. Wow, because that's when I've been sourcing it from. Until today. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, but there is over a hundred pieces of fan art in the video. Oh, oh, exciting! And some people are really prolific. Yep, there are some people that you do just a lot. Do of a lot of art, don't you? That's all you do. Just do a lot of art. So you can look forward to that in the break. Um, but before then, we have to play a bit of D and D. Oh, all right. Yeah. If we have to. Fine. Dino fight. Dino fight. Dino, Dino fight. fight. Dino, Dino fight. fight. Dino, Dino fight. fight. Dino, Dino fight. fight. Dino fight. Hello and welcome back to Arois. Last time, our champions have journeyed into the dense woodlands of Al Saref. Uh, accompanied by a party of wild elves and burrow folk, they have engaged in a hunt, a great hunt, a monster hunt, uh, to hunt down one of the three great beasts of Atelicus, the mutated T-Rex Stone Moor. Uh, after trekking through the forest and going about their way, making sure that they were following the tra tracks correctly, making sure that they weren't being uh, pursued and hunted by Stone Moor itself, they laid an ambush and have begun the battle against the giant creature. This creature uh, seems to have unique defense systems where it mutates and adapts to things that it is fighting and as such many of its uh, defensive mechanisms and offensive abilities are things that the party will need to adapt to and change as well as uh, not just defeating this beast they must defeat this beast at the same time that two other parties elsewhere around Al Saraf defeat their own great beasts, their own giant uh, mutated creatures. Uh, for if all three of them, unless all three of them are defeated at once, they will become protected and regenerate and come back even stronger. Uh, mm. And that is where we left things off, right in the middle of combat. Um, Did we just find out the percentages of the other uh, monsters? Yes. I believe you had found out their ones, but you yeah. don't know your own, you don't so know Stonemore's health. Yeah. So Danica's, Sorry, vitality percentage. Vitality, yeah. Danica's vitality, their monster, is 80%. Yeah. And um, I've just written Coral Song down, I can't remember her first name. Anyway, their one is 90%. Yeah, 90. Maybe it, would, it might be easier as well. It's Stormwing, which is the one Danica is fighting, which is the giant lightning rock massive giant lightning rock. That's Stormwing, who is currently at 80% vitality. And then Surge Scale, which is the giant sort of underwater hydra, um, is at 90% vitality. Because um, they are technically a round behind you guys. Mm -hmm. So you are in your sort of third round of combat, or technically your fourth round now. You're about to begin, and they have only been engaged in the creature for a few seconds, so. We also did a big heck and whack on this boy with many crits and Whoa. hopefully big damage. If we're not keeping you don't up, know where well, you yeah, are currently. but hopefully when we find out the vitality of mm. our one, mm. I, I like to think we're ahead. Mm. If we're not, we need to up our game. <laughs> if not, we're screwed. Yes, um, and you do know that there are, you know, as I mentioned, there are different um, traits to this creature. First of all, it has these weak points, these armor plating. Um, its head, its body, and its tail are all uh, different armored sections of its body, and you can choose to direct your attacks at either of those three. Um, there is, you have to basically break through its armor in order to actually start doing damage to the creature. Um, certain types of damage can bypass the armor, but if you do too much of certain types of damage, it will become resistant, potentially even immune to certain points of damage right. as well. Yeah. Um, and who I knows what other tricks and techniques this thing has? None. Did I do a form of spell 
at its tail last time. We did start attacking the tail, yeah. Well, since you tried to grab the tail, but <laughs> proved and then realized how strong this creature is. He, he big. Um, he big I don't think, because you, the last thing I remember you doing is getting thrown away by Brethra's chain, chain <laughs> special. Oh, yeah. The last thing I remember doing is just fucking He's just oh, useless. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Absolutely useless. Um, he just was there. Trot, you are going to run Ayla today. Are you? That, yep. That was the last <laughs> thing I remember us oh, discussing. I, it was Tom. I can do, but right. I don't know what dice <laughs> do for the attacks. Yeah, we don't have know. access to a sheet. Okay. All right. No Ayla worries. smash. Uh, yeah. That's fine. In that case, you just Reckless. decide what she does. I'll do all the rolling and stuff she's like that. She's going to, every turn, regardless of the situation mm -hmm. in combat, even if she's right next to someone and can heal them, she's going to recklessly rage attack. Okay. That's not the that's not Them the or the dinosaur. Uh, no matter what me. is in the way. You Will specifically. specifically. Yeah. Well, we are going to stop on the top of a brand new round. Uh, it is able to go first. But before that happens, uh, Stonewall, their legendary actions work slightly differently to raw D&D monsters. Okay. They occur at the beginning of the round, and then you've seen before that they almost seem to threaten where they are going to, uh, what they're going to do. Um, with this time, as we begin the kind of combat, we kind of fo uh, focus in on this glade, this ambush site that you'd prepared. There's a dense tree line all around you. You have hunters, um, various wild elf and borough folk hunters all hidden on the outskirts. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you have some of your NPC allies with you as well. You have Rethra, Sana, uh, Morgane, Frostblessed, um, and you have Vania the hunter with the hunters in the tree line. You also have two dragons that you can call down um, right. as well at any point. We have someone cool down. Cool yes, down. you do. Yeah, yeah. Rethra and Morgane. Uh, Rethra and Sana, sorry, are both on cooldown. Well, two rounds left on Rethra and one round left on Sana. That's right. Good. Well spotted. Uh, Sana has taken a bit of a beating as well, like she's looking injured. Um, Does Vanya yes. um, have a cooldown? Because I got him that to was do the, arrows. That was the same one, yes. Yeah. So we did. I don't think we rolled for that, did we? Um, that cooldown. Yeah, not the cooldown. Yeah, right. we did can the roll, attack. Can, but... we roll, can you roll a d6? It's a d3. So one and two is one, two and three is uh, two. two, so one. So it'll be two rounds, basically, before you can use Vanya's uh, attack again. Um, Stonemore. The plating you watch as it basically grows back. At the start of Ayla's turn, it's going to grow back. Um, you see it very quickly spread over where it's been ripped off and broken. Almost like a troll's regeneration, these thick carapace armor plating grows back, and it does seem to grow back thicker and tougher as well. Mm -hmm. um, as you see, it it's almost has like a sheen to it, mm -hmm. um, as if it's almost uh, adapting to the attacks and things that it's been taken. Um, Stonemore itself, very little sign of any sort of like big injuries. You don't see blood or anything at this point, um, but it, maybe its movements seem a little bit more sluggish than they had before, or it seems more enraged um, by there. this threat, uh, if yeah, you want to think seconds. that, absolutely. Mm. Um, and you see, uh, as it's kind of preparing itself, just before Ayla begins to react, you see as those kind of funnels, those almost like volcano-like protrusions from its back, um, they begin to glow, and all in between its armor plating, all over its body, steam begins to rise. Um, and you and uh, Nova, oh. you can feel the creature's body growing very warm and hot. Um, and then it's Ayla up first. You tell me what you would like Ayla to do. She's currently uh, mm -hmm. on the ground. She's currently stood in some difficult terrain, and she's going to take some damage at the start of her turn uh, because oh, she's currently stood in the sort of lava meteor pools. Yes. slam. Uh, she's going to take do, 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 12 Red points of fire damage. Rage which... attack the lava. Yep. She's going to punch lava. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't listen to them. So that so was... I've done the damage to Ayla. She takes that, but she's prone yep. in the lava. Um, well, sort of like fiery ground. But also, we should clarify that slight rule change as well, that the armor breaking yes. uh, regenerates at the start of the person so who broke it. its turn yeah. Yeah. rather than the start of... Uh, Stonewall's turn, which allows basically allows Lucius to get a yeah. hit in. It was yeah. It was, I wasn't going to go into too much detail because I think it it wasn't going <clears> to be a huge factor. But yeah, we basically changed it because the way I was doing it previously would have meant that Lucius never got a, ch a chance to actually attack the creature. So, yeah. Or like not properly. Uh, with magic, it was a bit different because magic can still damage it even with the armor plating up anyway. But it beside the point. Um, Is there all good? any way for Ayla to intuit what this glowing stone more? Is attempting you could to do. Always attempt to do stuff like that. This would probably be, I would say, Ayla can make a nature check. Would probably be the only thing that Ayla can make because she wouldn't be able to make an Arcana. She's not trained in it or anything like that. She's she's trained in nature and she has a plus five. So plus five. Yep. Uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Um, 
you, Ayla kind of is like, hey, Nova, you need to get off that thing now. Like it's 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 venting heat. I can like, and she can basically tell, kind of like maybe her like travels like to geezers and hot springs and things like that. She can see that like where it used that attack to kind of blast the fiery kind of meteors out. It seems to have the ability to almost vent heat from its body. Um, and yeah, she's basically yelling out like, yeah, it's gonna from and the volcanoes or just everywhere. Else? Everywhere on its body. Mechanically, the way this is gonna work is. If you're within a, you know, whether it's a certain range or touching it or attacking it or something like that, you will take fire damage if you remain too close to it. Mm -hmm. Pretty sussy for this thing to vent. Mm, so carry on, please this. carry on. Please don't allow him this. <laughs> a bogus. <laughs> right, Ayla, what's Ayla doing? So that's, I'd say that's like a free action on his turn, just yeah, to I mean, free, she'll, free scan. Uh, she will stand up to get out of this lava. Yep, half um, the movement. So that would be, what, 20, About 20 feet of her movement. Yeah. Um, so if she moved in to whack, yeah. Could she Keep in mind it is difficult to rain, and it's about ten foot radius, so that'd be like ten twenty. So I'd say that she's pretty much about here. All her movement to get close to it, and not even accounting for getting away from it when it does burst. Mm -hmm. So maybe instead, where she was prone, was she in like the threatened range of this guy? Oh yeah. So she could the, the, even the, if the she ran away. threatened range is fifteen feet, by the way. Right. It's 15 feet all around it. Holy crap. I guess its tail is long. Yeah. yeah. Its neck is long. Yeah. And its arms are... Yeah. And also keep in there. mind that, like, because <laughs> I saw some comments about this, the mini is not necessarily a representation of its size. I think people were expecting, like, a Godzilla kaiju. Mm. It was never going to be that big. This is, like, big monster and monster hunter kind of big. So yeah. it's, like, you know, five times, six times your size, right? Like, you know, even centuries, seven foot. You know, this is probably close to sort of, like, 20, 25 feet tall kind of thing. It is, a, it is a huge creature. Mm. And sorry, what was the burst well, radius Probably close again? to um, the the reach's radius. No, the burst of this vent Oh, thing. she doesn't know that. I'm right, not, okay, yeah. Yeah. You just know that it is going to basically, you know, there's going to be a, an aura of heat of fire damage. Mm. I think she'd be smart enough to... It, it sounds weird to forego a couple of Ayla wax, but she'd be smart enough to get out of the burst range, if possible, but stay in its 15 feet range. Okay. So where would you like it to go? If everyone agrees again, I'm just playing this. So you want to be like, what, on the cusp of that cusp 15 Cusp of the 15 feet, feet but sure. hopefully out of the range of this burst. So it'd be like burst. 10, 20, 25, 30, about she there. hold an action? That like oh, action true, yeah. That once it's burst, she goes in for a whack? You can't hold, movement, and attack. If it comes into range of Ayla, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, she'll then take she'll a whack. Uh, whack. So if it moves up to Ayla, she'll take a whack. And I guess she'll aim for the body. Tail. I mean, even though... I'd it... say tail, because we're working on the tail at the moment. Yeah, don't forget, oh, you yeah. guys can be shouting, like Nova can be like, mm. go for its tail! Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, after the body and the replay growing, we started working on the tail. I imagine it's also now resistant to bludgeoning, because it was mm. bludgeoning that, that destroyed the armor. It, yeah. yeah, she'll aim for the tail then, All right. Uh, if it comes close. Okay. All right, uh, that is going to be Ayla's turn. Uh, we then have Sentry. Cool. Um, I'm going to move up to Sana. I'm going to do a level one cure wounds on Five, Sana. Ten. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to roll for Sana. Uh, just to make it a bit easier, I'm not tracking their hit points individually. Um, you can do level one. Yeah. All right, so just 1d8 plus your normal modifier. Yeah. All right, in that case, I will. I'm tracking it in a different way. I'm okay. using like boxes, basically. Um, okay, nice. Uh, it's enough to like kind of patch her up, give her a bit of energy. Um, she still looks a little bit wobbly on her feet, but like she looks better than she was. Like she, you know, you you, th you have the impression that if she had had one more bad hit, she probably would have gone down. Okay. Um, you've basically given her like a second chance. Like if she she can probably take two whacks now. Nice. And then I'll still bonus. dangerous, but a bonus action. Use the old uh, vitoculus. Vitoculus! Vitoculus, yeah. activate. activate! So you kind of pull up and it's like a Dragon Ball Z scouter, but with like a steampunky kind of like different like lenses and things. Yeah. And you kind of slot them in place and you have to flick through a few of them, uh, kind of adjusting it and it kind of zooms in and zooms out. And you begin to see like, not like it's organs or things like that, but like the life energy flowing through this thing. Um, and you see like a... <laughs> In a classic, I, I like to imagine that there's almost like a UI, like a magic, oh, like yes. runes and stuff. <laughs> and there's like a little cute chibi Azaria, and she's like with a like skulls, <laughs> and she like points at like a bar that fills up, and it's like. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. So she's like, oh, why? <laughs> 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 it's, it's, like, it's like a skull that goes up and down. It's oh, like a skull no. that goes up and down the bar. Um, 
and it kind of reads along and it estimates uh, that currently Stonewall has about seventy uh, percent. Oh, oh wow. okay. okay. Seventy. Okay. But it, oh. again, you don't know if that's like a high seventy or a low seventy. Okay. It's it only still... does it in increments of ten. Can I round that? Winning. Is that rounding or the team? You don't know. Mm. Like I said, it is just an increment of ten. Cool. That could be seventy-one percent. It could be seventy-nine percent. All right. I will relay that to the team. Um, cool. I'll, I'll tell Lucius to let the others know. We're winning. Crap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's easy Keep for Sentry just to be call out. We are <laughs> it's around percent ahead, right? We are around ahead. Yeah. So we're about on track, I think. So we did fifteen percent per round, whereas Stormwing's done twenty percent in a round. So they're technically better. They than did that. two rounds. Oh. oh, they've done two rounds. Yeah, they've had two rounds before you've had three. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this I is, thought this they... is your fourth round. Yeah. They've had two rounds so right. far. So they've they're done, on their done third done round now. Around. Yeah. And they've done ten percent around. Okay. Shit. Oh. We're the best. We're, we're currently winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're the best. We're just going to die first. Um, is that all for century? Oh, that's me for now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Quilly boy. Um, I currently have Elder Quill and Bacon of Hope, but uh, healing-wise, how are individual people looking as of the start of the session? I'm fine. Fine? Yeah, I'm all right. Fine. Lucius? Tippy top. Tippy no, top. I don't think anybody's really been hit heavily so far. Stonewall's attacks have mainly missed, I think. Sana was... Sana was bad because she was in the range of like the AoEs and things like that, but... Mm. I think... Um, but she's just been healed. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a uh, focus on the tail. I'm going to do a guiding bolt. Okay. Uh, at level three. All right. Um, so guiding bolt, I do. Where is it? Where the hell is guiding bolt? Oh my god. Do I not have guiding? Hang on. Hang on. If it's not if it's not prepared on your sheet, you don't got it prepared, my my guy. <gasps> no. He has what did I? You must have taken it Where off. did I unprepared Guiding Bolt? Was it a wand? No, that was no, no, no. He's, no. Yeah, it's, a, it's a cleric spell he would have prepared. This is unheard of. Someone's... It's I've been weird. hacked. I've been hacked. <laughs> Hadar has hacked my account. <laughs> he's, removed, <laughs> he's removed Guiding Bolt. You must have taken it off or something. No. Did you swap something in? Greater Restoration, maybe? I think because it is based, it's not like a per level, it's like you unprepare it to prepare something else. I, d I, I must have. You must have done. I must have done. Um, so I'm going to... Be, shouldn't have died. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm currently out You've got Chromatic of, Orb. I do have Chromatic Orb. I'm really good with it as well. But no, I'm going to go fly down to Ayla, behind Ayla, so I don't get into this thing's 15 feet range. Are you by, like, range. down on the ground, flying down? Yeah, because I need to be within okay. touch range. Okay. And I'm going to cast Holy Weapon... Oh, okay. on, nice. uh, on Ayla. It's a fifth level spell. It gives okay. her basically uh, insta kill on her hammer. It's not, but sure. <laughs> uh, you can remind me what that does when we hit with it. Yes. And stuff. All right. Is that end of course then? Um, and as a. That's a bonus action? Fuck yeah. I'll, um, I'll use a uh, Sacred Flame on its tail, a deck save. Uh, sacred Flame on Le Tail. Radiant Damar. Uh, so fail. Great. Five. 48 plus six. This is radiant damage, right? Radiant damage. Okay. This is uh, so 19. This, this will bypass the armor. It just does damage to the creature itself. Great. All right, 19 damage to It me. means that you don't damage the armor for the other people, though. So, uh, so oh, 19 is that damage. What I did. I think I did that. I think you bypassed, yeah. Yeah. Because oh, um, like, like energy types basically just do damage to stone more. They don't necessarily damage the armor. So I think I remember you saying like the tail might start yeah. gaining resistance. Certain attacks like force and certain damage types deal extra damage to the armor if you attack with it. Mm. Was it 19? 19 so? damage, yeah. And uh, and that is. Wait, shit. Carry on. Holy weapon is concentrate. I lose shield of faith. Okay. All right. Mark that off. Um, all right, with Quill done, we go to Nova. Uh, Nova, at the start of your turn, as the creature is currently venting heat, um, and you are currently on its back and grappling it, you immediately take 20 points of fire damage. Um. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a utility round for me, just mm -hmm. to get out of the danger zone. Danger zone! Danger zone! Um, first thing I'm gonna do is cast Thunderstep. Okay. 
I don't think it's going to do much damage, but it's more I just want to get out of dodge mm -hmm. and do a little bit of, you know, a little tickle. Mm -hmm. uh, constitution saving throw 19, which you're almost definitely going to pass. Uh, with this guy, most likely, but we'll see. I did not roll great, but he does have a lot. That's going to be 25. Yeah, you take half damage, and it's not good damage either, so six, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage, and you are currently on its back, aren't you? Um, well, actually, I was wondering, could I, like... Slide down to its tail and cast then thunder step. And yeah, that's thunder. absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, it's thunder damage. It, the armor is vulnerable to thunder damage. It takes double damage. That's so going to wow. take 14. Is um, um, thunder tail. step AoE as well? What? When you when the hit the I'm wondering if you hit um, the tail and the body. Um, for it's, this purposes, because the creature is so big, I'm going to say yeah. that unless it's like a massive no, radius, it's, right. it's you choose which location. Sure. Like yeah. if you fireball it, even though it's like a 20 foot radius, I'm going to say. Tell me, are you hitting the head, the body, or the tail? Yeah. Sure. Because like cool. you're gonna get most of it in one, and you're also be tripling up damage, I suppose. Exactly. That way. I yeah, and like maybe that would like people are. Like, oh, but that makes sense. I'm like, well, that's not how the mechanics work. It's only yeah. ten foot as well. <laughs> ten this, foot. So, so basically, you can. Get no, 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 no. Sorry, the the range, oh, the range of damage of is ten foot, What's so it wouldn't do much. Distance? Ninety feet. Where would you like to go? Can I go? Um, you can pretty much 90 feet, I'm pretty sure you can go anywhere on this map. I guess, like, I kind of want to go to the tree line, Over like, here? back away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so probably in. just, like, there. Um, and then... Hide you behind all the trees? Yeah. So you can hide like a coward? Yeah. Like much. a baby coward? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wow. Well. I just died. I'm coming back from it. I'm getting used to my body. That's fair. I'm fighting Out without... of everybody, yeah. you get a pass. I'm fight, <laughs> fighting yeah, without... Don't, don't anybody else is pass. cowardly. Yeah. I'm going to be on you like a sack yeah. of shit. Yeah. Over. I fly down and stay out of its range, please. <laughs> oh, no, no. You flow down exactly where I want you to be. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, Nova. Fight, fighting without Tiangong for the first time. This is weird. Yeah. I, need, I need a tree. I need a tree! <laughs> um, bonus action. I would like to take out my new weapon. Mm -hmm. Sire because it's not Tiangong. And then whisper the command word, Heavensward, and it will light up. <laughs> oh, right, and that's just the activating <laughs> for the, the Starlight Trail, right? Yeah. Nice, Heavensward, nice. I love it, big fan. Uh, so, yeah, you watch as the blade that, that, uh, that Nova End wielded. Walker. <laughs> this, <laughs> Shadow I, bring us! That's how I, for my next, for my RPG, I'll just call all the relic weapons after yes! Final Fantasy expansion. Please I'd do. like to summon Ifrit. <laughs> <laughs> The, th um, the thing is, my thought is, because it's specifically says in the thing... I've actually been thinking about summons for my own RPG. Get fucked oh. out. <laughs> Such an iconic now fancy I'm thing. Interested. Anyway, right. Um, it says it summons, like, glittering starlight. Yeah, so, like, so it's, it's like a trail. Like so, like, as you move it, it leaves, like, almost like a flowing river that then gently fades away kind of thing. Yeah. Um, um, end of turn. Me. I'm ready. Yeah. Why, why are we still playing this? Oh. Do <laughs> more scare. There would have been plus six to the Thunder tail damage. damage because of my Hexblade curse. That would be 12 because it's doubled. Yeah. Uh, it, does it do the same damage it just as says the thing? Damage. If it just says damage, I'm just going to argue that it's oh, the same one. Creature. It just, just says. I'm going to say it for now. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll wait. Second. No. Stonewall's turn. A couple of things. Um, You're all dead. Who wants to roll a d6 for me? Me! Rihanna! Oh, roll a d6 for me. Oh. Is high good or low? It just good? says bonus uh, for damage roll. High is good for me, Reek bad for you. It. Wait, we can roll it then. Two. All right, sad. Erupting <laughs> Doom does not recharge. Oh. But instead, Stonemore is going to turn. Uh-oh. He rotate. He's in. doing a heck and rotate right oh. now. He's going to step in. Is that within range of Ayla? Uh, yeah, I'd say that Ayla can get a free whack. Uh, so her attack bonus is uh, plus 15. Plus 15. Look at that face, he's so cute. <laughs> one. A natural one? 16. Uh, so not only does Ayla miss, but attempting to make a melee attack against this creature triggers its aura, its vent heat. So she takes 20 points of fire damage. Good job, Tom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, Katie's just like, yo, what is Tom doing? <laughs> so, I mean, okay, so now we know melee attacks, vent heat. Um, and the vent heat is not a, so, and you realize this now, it's not like, a, like it's going to go off, like it's like building up to explode. While it is venting heat, it just has this continuous aura around it. Okay. Um, and that lasts for an indeterminate amount of time. Okay. However, as he steps up, Ayla takes a swing and just clashes against the armor. Um, and Stonewall uses this moment to like, re it, like lift its head up, and you almost hear this kind of like disgusting, like <coughs> regurgitating oh, oh. noise. Oh, oh. And it comes down, and it is going to spray acid um, oh, oh. in a sixty-foot cone, which is going to catch Rethra, Quill, Ayla, and Lucius. Uh, <laughs> resistance to it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna stay huh? by my tree. You have resistance. It's a good job. Elemental adept. You do. Does Ava Wait, have any? Elemental adept give makes you thing? you ignore resistance of it. No. I think it does. No. <laughs> Read the uh, rules, Mark. What are you saying, Kim? Is Ayla raging? So would she take all fire damage and all acid? Yeah, uh, damage is only uh, her barbarian is only it's only weapon damage like black bludgeoning, slashing, etc. Uh, so I need everybody in the acid spew this to make a dexterity a, um, saving throw. Spell. This is not a spell. It's an ability. Mark. Yes. Then. Okay. Dexterity saving throw. And tell you now, the DC is twenty-four. Well, oh wow. I don't have any dice. Oh my god! You don't have any dice. Oh, done, done it again! <laughs> we have, like, the studio where we store all of our dice. There, it's right there. <laughs> right. Eight. Yeah, you're all naked. Uh, I will, oh uh, well, uh, Rethra, uh, the NPCs I'm handling in a different way. Rethra is just going to take a certain amount um, based on how much damage it deals. Um, Ten. Ten total. Another. We're taking full damage. Can I try and absorb it? Uh, if you have a reaction, if you've not used your reaction. I haven't yet. All right, you can cast Absorb Elements. You gain resistance to acid damage. Does it not suck up the entire it's breath? Nice. Nope. Shit. Um, um, well. And can you roll a d20 for Ayla as well? So for me, I got 17. And Ayla, Ayla gets with advantage, she gets to roll as well because of danger sense. Uh, got 19. I have her sheet now. Uh, so she would get 24, which is just enough. Mm. Um, so, uh, what did you get for Quill? Seventeen. No, total? sorry, she got she got nineteen total. Oh, with the plus. Oh, you've with got the, the bonus. I've got her oh, I see. Game. Unfortunately, that's a failure. I just remembered. <laughs> I cast prismatic mastery on myself. You did. Well, you, uh, you channeled prismatic mastery. Yes, it's not a spell. Which means I have resistance to fire, acid, lightning, poison, cold, thunder, force, radiant, necrotic damage. Doesn't even need to cast absorb elements. You're already resistant. Doesn't even need to right. do it. So you're going to take half damage because you <laughs> failed the save, but you have resistance. So you're going to take half damage. <laughs> Um, Half damage. Quill, Ayla, and Rethra are all taking full damage. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to roll this manually because I don't have, need to be on up at the moment. I uh, think I'm going to kill Ayla you again. You need to bear with me. Okay. Ayla's fine. She's tough. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm not worried. I like this tree. Everyone else is. Let me get. I, I'm going to need. Me. I'm going to need my calculator app. Well, why? Because I got to roll a lot of got dice. Got a lot of dice. I'm not doing it on the So. How many dice are we talking? You know Maybe how... he's just really bad at math and he's rolling like two dice. You know how like <laughs> just defaults. the word die is in dice? Like, yeah. That's how many dice. Oh. Mm. Cool, thanks. Die's not a number. You've got it though. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Do, do, What's happening do, today? Do, do, do. We're degenerating. I had two coffees and I'm... I need a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. You'll get sleepy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> it's so exhausting. Yeah, I think we're all hive minding. I think we're all like yeah. merging into one new head. <laughs> I do as well. Everybody <laughs> but Lucius. Yeah. 70 points of acid Jeez. damage. Yeah. Holy Thank mother of God. 35 points of acid damage to Lucius. You are level 19. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't find the coward me. bait. Uh, I will, I can do Ayla's HP. Thank For some reason you. I've got 20 temp HP and I can't remember why. Um, you, it was Rethra. Rethra gave Rethra you 20. Gave it was, me. he used his chain oh. swing. So hang on. Yes. A concentration save on that. DC 35. 35. Whoa, what you, is it? It's not possible. It's not possible. You fail. Shit. I can try. You fail. Not possible. Yeah. Don't forget your poor sense as well, boo. Even, not, for, well, not for this. Yeah. Yeah. Natural just, 20 can't succeed anyway. Yeah. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. So you just watch as this acid just like engulfs oh. all of you, um, and yeah, just completely. Does that stick around? Uh, no, it's just an acid breath, kind of like a dragon's breath kind That's of attack. Really cool. However, but good. It does also get to make its other attacks this turn, um, and it is going to uh, probably go for squishy spellcasty boy. You Lucius. No, you. I'm not a spellcaster um, boy. You are. Um, it's going to try and bite you, Quill. But it should. With a b -b -b 29. It bites you with its enormous Ooh. mouth. That gets me. Right. Uh, you're going to take. It gets me deep. I think I'm about to get Chomp. swallowed. Oh, sorry. Those are, I need to do Four. d12s, not d10s. I hope. <laughs> Lucius got swallowed. Don't encourage that. Yeah. He's been swallowed by a lot of things, Lucius. Yeah. 
If it doesn't happen this fight, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, you're going to take 22 points of piercing damage, Quill. You are grappled as it holds you in its mouth. Until this grapple ends, you are restrained. Um, Damn. That's a hungry boy. <laughs> That's a hungry, hungry hippo. <gasps> Oh, it fits! Oh, it fits! Oh, it fits. Yeah. Oh. And then he's going to use his tail attack to basically, because he can't make his tail attack against anybody in front of him. He's going to whip his own hit, mouth. He, he's going to know. He's going to hit. Uh, uh, who hit him out of? Uh, Morgane's not hit him. Who was it? Santa. Santa's done a big kick. And then Varney. That's why this guy should be over here. Varney, not that guy. So he'll hit Morgane. Um, oh. Rethra uh, is looking very bad after the acid spray. Um, and Morgane just takes uh, a pretty nasty blow as well. Oh. How do I solve a problem um, like that? In fact, actually, yeah. Teams. And then <clears throat> when she gets hit by the attack, Morgane is knocked back and knocked prone. It kind of like, whoosh, and she goes whoosh, flying through the air and skids through the dirt. Jesus. Um, Sorry, I just love that sound effect. <laughs> uh, that is Stonewall's turn. Rechargeability didn't go off. It's currently venting heat. I have no more turns to make. Um, hmm. The NPCs, would you like any of the NPCs to move anywhere? Away. Uh, yeah, if any of them are in the front arc, yeah. then yes, away. Okay. If anyone's yeah. injured, Rethra get behind move. something. Yeah, Reth will move and sort of take refuge in like these trees. As much Which as one does the ranged attack? Varnia. 15 feet. Morgane's actually kind of okay, and I think that she would sort of move around to sort of help. What's their invoke fire ability? Uh, that is where they did the chain swing. Chain swing. Yeah, cool With shit. The cool so on the blades. Cool. Yeah, that they throw you, throw you around. Because the, the stone war is immune to fire, so Rethra can't really help attack it. Uh, but Morgane can still take another hit, so she I is going to move same in. Same thing. Sorry, I'm just repositioning Quill in his move. Okay. For the cameras. There you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. That's incredible. Um, we, <laughs> not, not. That brings us to... You guys are on turn... This is your turn five. The other M M teams are now... That is their third turn finish thing. Am I at the end of the round? Sorry, yes, Lucius. Sorry, yes, you're going. Uh, so, I would like to use my Stormcaller's Chain mm -hmm. to call lightning. Okay. Um, and I'm going to target, obviously... Yep. Stone more. Yeah, so it creates an area above which fills this complete map, basically. Foot cone of clouds. Yeah, but um, then it's the a five foot point. Ten feet tall. Oh, a ten feet radius. Okay. Um, uh, it's five feet, yeah. So yep. deck saving throw. Yep. Which area would you like to target? Head, body, or tail? I'm going to hit the tail, which I, I've already hit. Yep. Uh, this is going to be a thunder. Wait, what? That was with Nova damage, hit. Yeah, yeah okay. lightning damage will bypass as well. This lightning is thunder. But it's just, I, I need to know for other reasons. Oh, no, this which is lightning. Yeah, this is yeah, lightning. But it means it will just do damage to the body. Okay. Uh... Sure. Yeah, I thought it was thunder. It's fine. Deck saving throw. Uh, Sorry, that's when the armor is broken. Ooh, uh, 17 on the decks. Um, what is my just regular DC? Oh, it's 19, yeah, so it fails. And then I do... 1d10, but each slot above level 3. I, I should have told you I cast at level 4. Well, Call Lightning is set. It has a set level on the Stormcaller's chain. Okay. It is. It's 8th level, I believe. Holy shit. Yeah, you don't use your spell slots for it. You just use it from the item. What do you need? D10s up in the wazoo. How many more? 1d10, but... After every third level, so I need five, six, ten. Three, that's it. Nice. That's oh, ten, that's right? a pretty good roll. Mm -hmm. 15, 15, ten, ten. Twenty-eight. That's not a ten, that's a one. Yeah, no, this is the ten though. Ten, ten. Thirty-one. Thirty-one nice. points of damage. Now. Okay, roll. Give me a second. Will you? <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> okay, go. So the lightning hits the tail, like strikes down from the heavens, um, as it kind of probably at the uh, just after it whacks more gain, and you do see the creature kind of stumble for a second as like the lightning almost passes up through its body after being struck. Um, but it's still, yeah, you see the the tail smoldering almost from the blast of lightning. Um, um, you begin to see maybe like little flickers of lightning up and down its body. Interesting. Mm gonna whip open the sending stone mm -hmm. crystal thingy yep and inform the others 
that... I believe we're at... 70. 70% okay. uh, of their vitality. All right, we're still at what we told you last time, but we're making progress. Are you doing all right over there, any? Just about. Okay. Yep, Danica just responds. It's it's brief because like they are trying to coordinate other fights. Still yeah. there. That's all. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else, Lucius, on your turn? Any movement? I'm just going to keep to the side of it, not. So I'm going to move maybe to. Uh, this way. Yeah. Just a little bit. Right yeah. Here? I'll stay near Big Sentry. Yeah. Ready? Her aura. Yeah. Move there. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I don't think. Does it still look like he's venting? As an FYI, you were here, weren't you? Mm. If you, you're actually technically within his threaten range. So can you I can skirt go, around? You can go. His threaten range then. If you stay, if you move, if you stay here. Yeah, that's fine. Then you're fine. But you, that he can still melee you there. Good lord. Yeah. Well, Are you that's okay? Right. Cause him Dumb. Yep. All right. We go back at the top with Ayla. Um. Um. At the top of the round, uh, oh, yeah. he continues to <clears throat> vent heat. It lasts for a certain number of turns. Okay. So Wacken is another 20 damage, and she also just took a massive acid spray. Beat down. Uh, what is the name of this location? Is there for this area? This area? Yeah. It doesn't really have a name. It, the locals would probably call it, like, I don't know, the... Forest. The... the, the Dino Woods. Uh, the Stone Spear Forest. I will write that down. Okay, sure. Stone. We just canonized everybody. Oh, yep. Spear. I don't know, because I think I called them the Stone Spear Mountains nearby. But then they are nearby, so maybe they would just <laughs> be like, oh, this is the yeah. forest of the Stone Spear yeah. Mountains. Stone Spear Enough. Forest, yeah. Spear Shadow Forest. No, you called them Spear Fall Mountains. Spear Fall Mountains. So okay. Stone Spear Forest. I've written it down. Stone now. Shadow. No, Stone Shadow I've written Forest. Stone Spear. Okay. It's in my notebook now. Stone Listen, Spear I don't. Forest. I'm bad at naming it's stuff. Well, then you're correcting him. Uh, no, no. Down. <laughs> no, I've I think. Uh, it down. It's, you know, that's how it works. When Kim writes it down. When the wiki team writes it down. When, when that's it goes canon. in that book, I'm helpless. No. <laughs> 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 As a god can't be killed. Oh, I yeah, guess so. Stonemore is dead. Yeah. Stonemore is dead. Yeah, it's not the death note. Okay. Oh. Right. Um, I've changed it, it's shadow. Then I eat another potato chip. I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, in, I've changed it to shadow. In lieu of making an attack, I feel bad not using Ayla to whack. But Why don't you want to whack? A bit 20, 20 points of damage? Meh. Nothing. He's, he's being a sussy backer right now, and Quill is in the mouth. I can yeah. that. But he is very strong. I was thinking Ayla expends a charge, gains a flying speed, jumps up, and tries to push open the mouth so that Quill can escape. Yeah. As an FYI, touching this creature like Nova was, she was on its back, mm. touching the creature is the same as striking it with a melee weapon. So Ayla will still I'm take fire damage. currently in its mouth. Which means at the start of your turn, you will also take fire damage. Am... You will also take more damage because it is biting you. Like at the moment, it's like not just holding you in its mouth; it's like crushing you, and it's like your armor and like you know you're maybe using a bit of magic to kind of keep it off you. But you will take extra damage at the start of your turn, Quill. Yeah. I'm going to die at the start of my turn. You know, I hope so. <laughs> um, That'd be fun. <laughs> so it's, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah, kill them off. That'd but, be a good bit of telly, wouldn't it? I'd be watching yeah. like Taskmaster. I feel like yeah, Greg yeah. Davis. Hmm. <laughs> be a good bit of telly. Why do I have to be little Alex Horn? <laughs> um, He's thin like a reed, and he looks like a mole. It's little Tommy Hazel! Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Looks like a mole. <laughs> thin like a reed, fine. <laughs> for podcast, glasses. For podcast you, listeners, I'm thin like a reed. Did you just do this? No, because he's got glasses. Okay. Like, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Ayla, unless anyone else has a suggestion, is going to Fly flying up. speed up. Okay. Try. I, I know it's so strong, but it's some kind of assistance to get. She get can definitely assist you for sure. Uh, I will mark off the charge on the Owling Tempest, and then she is going to le jump up to the mouth of the stone moor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so what we'll do this as is you can basically use, uh, you have a choice on your turn to escape this thing. So, uh, it, well, I'll let you make a choice. Either Ayla can make a check now to try and free you, basically making the action to try and prize open the mouth and get you out. Right. Um, it will be a slightly 
more difficult. She'll probably have disadvantage because she's trying to free you whilst not hurting you at the same time. It'd be a bit different if she was inside it. Sure. Um, so she can do that. Or on your turn, after you take all this extra damage, you can use her bonus with advantage because it will be the two of you working together. You basically get the help action. I mean. What the devil's bargain! What does everyone else think? I know, this is up to you. You gotta make this call. This is like Quill and Ayla huh? coordinating. Mm, I mean, the help action is gonna be worse, I think, than Ayla just Strong trying to thing. wrench this thing open. Her strength is so high. Maybe she mm -hmm. breaks a tooth. Its tooth, not her tooth. Yeah, I mean, after this, she is also gonna shock its um, umbilic umbilical cord? That's uh. her throat. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very different if it was. What am I thinking? Dinosaurs. You know, a little dangly. Because they're um. They're reptiles. They lay eggs. Oh, yeah. uh, Eggy. Eggy. Cloaca. Anyway, I had this discussion. Adam's I don't want to have it anymore. <laughs> I I am happy for Ayla to make a strength save now and right. attempt to break. But it's a athletics check, so oh. you're going to roll it. It's plus thirteen, and she has advantage because she's raging. Advantage, but disadvantage. Yes, so it becomes because, a normal roll. Yeah, so thirteen on its own. Shame you didn't use that portent. I rolled a. I'm not going to use a 20 on this. I'm going to use it to kill the thing. I, I rolled a 2, I got 15. Okay, that is not enough. Yeah. It's insufficient. Yeah. So Ayla is trying to open it. Ayla takes another 20 points of damage by touching the creature as well. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. However, yeah, she, you know, is trying to open it, but because of the way you're in it, she's trying to do it without also hurting you um, and is not able to kind of just get the leverage and the grip flying in the air. She's not used to, you know, she doesn't have the ground or anything to really press against, so she's just struggling to find the leverage to do it uh, currently. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, that's going to be her action, her bonus action, and well, her... uh, move. Wait, that was her bonus action as well? Oh, right. To activate the fly speed, I think it's a bonus action. Oh, just expend a charge. You can expend three charges. You can expend one charge and make a range. Yep. You can... yep, you can just expend a charge. It's not a bonus action. <laughs> okay. You're right. In that case, bonus action, uh, I'm going to shock its throat. Uh, one on the deck save. And she does... Three D six, I believe. Yep. Yes, three D six. One, one, one. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Roll the Christ. fuck better. <laughs> Be a better person. <laughs> three points of lightning damage. Uh, oh dear. Yep. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. Christ. No, Ayla does have a longbow, by the way. Um, Sentry. I go foot. Um, I'm gonna uh, activate Aura of Vitality. Um, <laughs> Whoa! It's a pointy dice, dude! dude. <laughs> I, know, I, I, punched a D, I punched the flat end of a D6, but it was pointing upwards oh. diagonally. It was right next to the D4s as well. I could have lost my hand. Jesus, that sounded crunchy. <laughs> Sentry. Bloody so you're gonna act so action or a vitality? Or a vitality. <clears throat> okay. And then Does that have an immediate effect or is that Yeah that does, yeah. Yep. Um and I'm gonna move up sort of in between Lucius and Morgane, I think, is that? Uh, over here. Uh sort of back a little bit. So towards towards the trees, uh behind. Oh, right, over here? Yeah, just so I'm out of the way. Okay. Of the Do you wanna stay tail. out of the attack? Yeah. <laughs> And 15, yeah, you're out of the way here. Nice. And then I will bonus action, use Aura of Vitality, and I'll heal uh, Lucius for 2d6. Ooh. Hey. Thanks. Bam, ba -da -bam. Okay. Three for you. Whoa. <laughs> what happened to those high rolls from last we, we, week? It's changed. Something has changed. Something has changed. Something is cursed. <laughs> So yeah. You guys were so happy, you were like, we're kicking this thing's ass last week. Fight. We're Don't ahead fight. of the curve, we're winning! Nice. Um, um, is that your full go? That'll be my full go. All right. T.Y. Quilly boy! Yep. Start uh, your turn. 20 right? points of fire damage. Turn first. Nope, it's Quill, then you. Hmm. I have it in my initiative. So, 20 points of fire. And then... And then... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I mean, I think... Crunch. You crunch. Uh, if a creature starts its turn restraining this way, it automatically takes 1d12 plus 9 piercing damage. Oh. I'm a, okay. I mean, it sucks, but... Uh, 20 points of piercing damage. That's a good roll. <laughs> that was a good roll on that. That was an 11 <laughs> on a d12. Uh, so that's 20 points of fire, 20 points of piercing. Okay. Do you have any other concentration spells up? No, no, no. I haven't, it's, it's I haven't had a turn since I got gauzed on. They will be uh, nice. You plus Holy Aura, so did you lose that when you got gauzed? Holy holy Weapon? Yeah. Yeah, that, that got gauzed So you away. have no active concentration no, spells? No, no. Okay. Um, 
So, an attempt to f free myself from this would it is would... Uh, athletics or acrobatics. I bet you're good at this. I think I'm going to stay in this thing's mouth. Or if you have like a <laughs> teleport spell, that can get you out as well. Oh god, who would have who one would of those? Who would have such a fucking thing? Oh no. Who <laughs> could? <laughs> um, but or you can just stay in its mouth. I could. I mean, I could stay in its mouth because if if I blast it hard enough, it'll probably open its mouth, right? Maybe. A little tickle, yeah. Uh, keep in mind, whilst you're restrained, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. Yeah, but. Obviously, if the spell is, doesn't require an attack roll, then I could fine. sunbeam through its entire body. <laughs> Good. And which yourself. is one thing I'm thinking. Sure. But for now, I might just attempt to stay alive in its mouth for a bit longer because I think a lot of people need healing here. Okay. Uh, so whilst you're being like whipped around like a rag doll, Quill's going to be like, healing! I'm healing <laughs> everyone! Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a mass cure wounds, which will hit everyone within 60 feet or six targets within 60 feet. Okay, that's pretty much going to be everybody from your position. So I think yeah. except maybe Nova. Nova? Yeah. yeah, Nova's like quite far away. Ooh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. 20. Yeah, no, Nova's still going to be in range. Yeah. You can pretty much hit everyone. Sweet. These maps aren't huge. So. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that at level. So who's which six? So it's basically all of six. you guys, and then you can choose an NPC. Me, Ayla. Yeah. Ayla's taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, who else got uh, schnozzed? <sighs> Lucius took a little bit. Fine. Now that's three. Yeah, three but you've times. got you've got six targets. Like if you've yeah. taken damage, I don't think Nova's really been hit badly. Sure. I've not really had a big hit since sure. the tail one. I'm like so three. Um, out of the NPCs, Rethra looks pretty bad. Morgane took <coughs> a hit, but is otherwise Second. okay. I'll do, yeah, me, Ayla, Rethra, Lucius. I'm not too bad. I mean, you, if you've got six targets. Two, two others. You might as well just do Nova and Sentry. Nova and Sentry. You might as well. And this is a Easier. six level, so I do uh, 4d8 plus six. Okay. Ha, ha, one, two, three. No bacon. <laughs> no bacon. That got, again, gozzed away. That is 24 healing oh, nice. to... Why do you do Ayla? Wowie. Tasty, T.Y. Everyone, which is Lovely. less than damage I took this turn. <laughs> I'm on 169. Nice. 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 And that is a action, bonus action, uh, <laughs> squirm movement. <laughs> and that's my entire turn. All right, Nova V. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I would like to bring out my shield and cast Vortex Warp on Quill. It has a range of 90 foot. Uh, and I can teleport them 90 foot to an occupied, unoccupied space. Yep. And he if needs you are... to fail a constitution saving throw, but he can choose to fail yeah. should he want to. No, I fail. All right. 60 feet? <laughs> uh, 90 feet. 90 feet. You can go anywhere on the, on the board. Where would Quill like to go? Isn't that your, not your choice? Um, um, it technically is Nova's choice, actually. I guess I'd probably bring him to me. <laughs> to be honest. Hello! Bunnies in the trees. <laughs> Quill and Nova sitting in a tree. <laughs> P O R T A L. Acid and saliva. You smell a bit Port rank. Die. Port will die. <laughs> right, um, so that was action. Smell a bit weird, mate. Okay. Is that action? Uh, that's my action, and yeah. as my bonus action. Mm -hmm. I'm bored now. I'd like to manifest an echo. Oh. You didn't do it, did you? I'm fine. No. <laughs> I've been busy. For now, it's the basic. Yeah. All right. But I will do the other ones. I will. I will get to them. Um, all right. Here's... Okay. It's going to be the normal one mechanically for now. But Quill is the only one who would see this anyway because he's the only one next to you um, unless you're going to manifest the echo closer towards Stonewall. It's within 15 foot. Within so 15 feet of you. So it would be sort of around, yeah. You watch, as, and you've seen Nova do this when Nova had Tiangong. Almost uh, a sort of Tiangong image kind of uh, would almost apparate out of Nova and sort of then manifest it in a physical space and become a, a creature. And you've seen them do that before. Nova sort of closes their eyes, I imagine, and tries, you try and will this power, because you've not done this really since. Um, and you're like, I need, you know, does Nova have thoughts or like feelings as she's as she's doing this? Because it's kind of a big deal. I think it would almost for her right now. She's almost automatically done it because mm. she's just. It's danger. She needs it. It's dangerous, and sure. she's seeing Quill almost 
get munched mm. she needs help yeah so it's almost like an automatic she didn't even think about it it yeah. just happened just happens and she immediately pictures Tiangong yeah but yeah so what happens is a form emerges from Nova but it's faded um, it's more like the kind of ghostly spiritual kind of echo right of like this isn't this isn't another presence within Nova. This is like a memory of a message, almost like an illusion of it. But when it appears out of Nova, it doesn't quite look like Tiangong. It becomes Tiangong by the time it manifests, by the time they manifest in the space. They do resemble the Tiangong that you remember. But there's a moment as they're manifesting, their ears are longer and pointed, and their hair almost seems to shift like it's maybe made of fire or wind, and there's almost like things floating around it for a second, and then it reforms into Tiangong. Hmm. Mechanically, it will be the standard manifest echo for now. Well, we're taking it out for a spin, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any butterflies? There would be... A smell of wet grass. There you go. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. it. Smells like wet ass here. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, you said wet grass. Sorry. <laughs> wet grass. Maybe, yeah. We'll that slap you, sir. Wet grass with that hint of the Feywild, but also an earthy scent, like so the land. Mm. So anyway, uh, all right. Yeah. Echo manifest cool. is a bonus That's action. Cool. That's me. Any movement? Um. I'm just gonna, yeah, hang out in the trees. Like, maybe get some cover from the tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll both just, both myself yeah. and Tiangong. Sure, like, sure, uh, sure. Well, I keep saying Tiangong. My echo. Yeah. You can say Tiangong. It's fine. That's, that's who they are right now. Are they, though? Are they? Who knows? Right. Um, in that case, you're done. Stone Ma's turn. Rhiannon. Hello. Could you roll 2d6 for me <gasps> this time? Gladly. Two and a four. All right. <clears throat> Tiangong is going to, uh, so more, sorry, it's going to turn around. Him rotate, yeah. Uh, and uh, is going to make a tail attack against Ayla. Oh, shit. I landed on my laptop and cocked. Uh, 27 to hit Ayla. Mm -hmm. um, I need Ayla to make a strength saving throw for me, please. She's also going to take some damage. A strength save. She's just out of my aura, so she won't get hurt. Was there any benefits from raging? For uh, not for saving throws, right. no, I don't believe so. I think it's on ability checks. Uh, that is a it might 20 be, I don't know. T4. Uh, that is enough. That's a success. Uh, they're also going to take, she's going to take, it uh, would be 18 points of bludgeoning damage, but she's raging, so that goes down to 9 points of bludgeoning damage, which I can do. Don't worry about Thank that. Thank you. Um, and she's not pushed back or knocked prone by the tail attack. Nice. Lucius. Uh, Stone more attempt to bite you this time. Um, right. And again, it does seem intelligent enough to be like, hmm, this one is like less armored. I'm going to target these ones with certain these things. Are. Yeah, these ones are weaker. Uh, that is going to be a 25 to hit. Yep. Also, you're lucky I misread the damage on its bite attack last time. Quill. Shit. I don't I, feel lucky. Yeah, I did uh, 2d12. It should be 4d12 on its bite I think attack. you only did 1d12. No, that was on the when you were in it. Oh, I attached it. Ooh, that's I mean, I could. Uh, bad, like, bad for you or bad for us? <laughs> oh, oh. shit. <laughs> uh, seven, plus. Six points of piercing damage to Lucius. On 4d8. Oh, yep, I, rolled, I, I rolled a 12, 8, 8, 9. Jesus. <laughs> and also Lucius. Om nom nom. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> Do I fit? You fit. He fits. Hey, roll another d12. Uh, why? Just. 12. Jesus Christ. I'll take that damage. Why? Because I would have done. Oh, no, <laughs> that's fine, I forgot. Done it. All right, okay. Um, technically, it was 2d12 if you're taking that extra damage. Uh, <laughs> take another three. <laughs> I did 2d12 plus I didn't think about 4D12. that. I'm still within the range of being alive, which is okay. I yeah. didn't think okay. it would be another one. <laughs> um, but yeah, unfortunately, Lucius, it chomps down, wraps its jaws around you, lifts you up into the air, so and again, you are grappled and restrained. Yes. Shit. Yes. Um, and that was piercing damage. Mm. 46 points of it. Okay. Fucking hell, that was one of the best rolls of damage rolls I've ever done. Mm, um, it has none of its recharge abilities. It is currently still venting heat. 
Uh, we go to uh, the NPCs. None of them have really been given specific orders. Uh, oh, so yeah, Morgane yeah. will do some damage. Um, Sana is still injured, so she's just going to move around and like move around behind Sentry. Um, Vanir is in with the guys. Uh, Rethra has backed off. I'm going to put him over here. Uh, Rethra is just going to take a moment to try and gain his second wind. Uh, but Morgane is in close enough damage to do some damage to the beast. Um, and that is going to be... I'll do that. Okay, so you watch as Morgane is kind of like striking at the creature's legs, its torso, its tail, whatever she can kind of get her blade against, um, her two blades, her twin blades, as uh, she's striking against it. Um, Lucius, unfortunately, at the start of your turn, uh, you are in its mouth. It is currently venting heat. You take 20 points of fire damage, so 10 because you're resistant. That's and then, right. And then another uh, 12 points of piercing damage as it Ow. currently is biting down on you in its mouth. Not resistant. Bad timing, unfortunately. <sighs> um, my core lightning I can still do. Yep. Uh, do That is concentration. So can you just make a concentration check for me? The 46 would be DC 23. 17 plus... Um, That's possible. Because I think you have proficiency in your con. Con save. Constitution save and throw. Plus eight, yeah. Yeah, wow. so you actually succeed. The core lightning, you succeed on it. You would then need to make two more for the fear of fire and piercing damage. DC 10 on these, though. 14. Yeah, as eight. long as you don't roll a one or a two. That's a six. Okay, fine. yeah. So your core lightning is still active. You can nice. pull that down. Good shit. Now, Rethra is too far away from me for the chain. I assume. Yes, currently it's too far away. It has to be within um, 60 feet, I think. Oh, yeah. And uh, can I cast oh, spells on my... Yeah, you can still cast spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just any attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay, I'm going to cast uh, Armor of Agathis on myself. Smart. And, and is it a bonus action for Call Lightning? I'm going to quicken the spell so I can do Armor of Agathis. Remember, it has to be... If you, if you quicken a normal spell, the next spell has to be a cantrip. You can't you can't quicken a regular spell and cast another. But core lightning is a. It's it is still a spell. It's like it depends. I guess if it's an action, actually, yeah. Let me have a look at it's it. An action. Yeah, you're not casting the spell again. You're it's actually just like, using. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <clears throat> uh, okay, done the, 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 stuff the, like that uh, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, you're yeah, yeah. You're 100 right. Yeah, it's an action. So you can quicken armor of Agathis, and then you can use your action to cool down core lightning. What level are you casting armor it's, of Agathis? It's, it's level twenty five temporary hit points and twenty five damage. Twenty five cold damage if yes. it attacks you, which I will count it biting down as being. Yeah. Boy. Um, all right, and then yeah, uh, uh, cool lightning. Where would you like to target? Tail, head, or body? Now I don't know if spreading the damage is going to be beneficial, detrimental. So mm -hmm. I don't really want its whole body to be resistant, so I'm going to attack the tail again and see what happens. Sure, yeah, yeah. The tail's not, I mean, the armor on the tail hasn't been hit that badly. Yeah, okay. you guys kind of, the last turn, you didn't really attack it very much, so. Can right. I? Yes. It fails its dexterity same through, so. Can I? Chromatic control the core lightning to this turn I'm just going to do lightning damage. Okay, sure. Right, 6d10, <laughs> I think. Or what was it? Is it 6d10? Yes. Right, 6d10 damage. Uh, after this, by the way, it will be Ayla on the top of a brand new round. Um, then Sentry. So you guys have a think about what you want to do. Yeah, and Sentry. And it's still venting. Um, yeah. What's Although, that? again, it will be the top of a new round and you'll find out whether that changes or not. 39. 39 points of damage. That better. Thank you. To, and that was lightning damage, isn't it? Wee wee bonjour. So that goes to... Whew. Okay, with that core lightning, as it strikes the tail, you watch as the bolt of lightning blasts into the tail and it kind of runs through. You can see the power of the lightning kind of courses through Stonemore's body and it does let out this like, this bellowing roar. And you watch as that lightning and very much like, you know, Ayla, when she got her scarring from being struck by lightning all those years ago on the airship, mm. its body, its plating almost seems to warp, almost like incorporating lines. And you see out of its talons, spikes almost seem to grow into the ground. Oh. And it's now resistant to lightning. Cool. It's now oh, that's such a cool way. That's you awesome. hit the threshold of it passing over into Damn. it. Damn. Um, that's really cool. grounded himself. Yeah. Yep. What a smart boy. Clever girl. I'm going to put on some wellies. 
Yeah. So, also, just let me, um, just before the top of a round, let me just do some, no, in fact, I'll do this during the break. I'll do some quick maths about where we are and stuff quick like math. that. Quick maths. Okay. Uh, so, Ayla, we have a uh, top of the round. Uh, the venting of heat stops. Good, okay. However, it has because a it's action. a brand new reg legendary action, it begins to raise its tail again, and you've seen this before. Ah, and it kind of lifts its tail yeah. up into the air, uh, as if preparing to slam its tail down. So the last time it did that, it was like a crazy cone of blasting that launched people back. But that's okay, because Ayla can just move. Um, at least for now she can. Um, she is going to double whack that tail. Okay. Since she's behind it. Um, so, it, what is her attack? It's plus 15. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, first one. Okay. This is against the tail. Against the tail is a 7 plus 15, 22. 22 is not enough. Remember, this guy's got a big, tough AC. So, the, the hammer slams into it. Uh, would you like Rhiannon to roll for you instead? Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> All, all NPCs uh, refresh now. Sweet. Okay. Thank you for keeping track of that, Chris Trump. Oh, that's... So remember, you can you can use one of your... So if you have multi-attack, you can make one attack and then call an ally to make an attack with you, basically. Cool. So um, as a reminder, Vanya has arrows, like he calls in the arrow squad. Morgane, uh, she does offensive, but she needs to be within five She needs to be target. within five feet of the target and within 30 feet of you. And um, Sana is... Uh, you both need to be 15 axe. foot. Mm -hmm. And she does the big Luna X kick, mm -hmm. and Rethra is a propel and invigorate type. Mm -hmm. yep. Morgane. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some more information on Morgane's one as well. Um, she has like these two like swords like that she coats in ice. Um, when she strikes, she does you do extra cold damage, but also um, she gain advantage uh, to the next attack. You basically like when she does it, you then gain advantage on your attack and deal extra cold damage. She ah. like freezes it and slows it down to make it easier to strike. And that's Morgane. Morgane is currently within five feet of it, yes. I mean, I, I think Ayla would call on a, some sort of pincer attack yep, move. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, she'll just be like, Morgane now! And then Morgane is just like, very well, Stormwalker. And she begins swirling the blades around, and you watch as she does, kind of like Ayla has this aura of lightning, Morgane has this aura of frost and ice, and it begins building up on the swords until they become these colossus, like, frozen ice swords. And she just goes, deadly blizzard! And smashes it against the creature. Um, and it kind of slows it down. You watch its legs kind of freeze in place. Uh, Ayla's next attack has advantage and does 4d10 extra cold damage. Get to whacking. Now, if that crits, the 4d10, does that also crit as well? Oh, dice does normally increase with a crit, Tom Hazel. you got to do a crit. I mean, it sounds like now's the perfect time for Quill Sorry, to use that portent. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that. Wouldn't that be exciting? That would be exciting. That would be very exciting. It? it would be. It would Are be really exciting. <laughs> I'm going to do that. So what does this look like for Quill then? Because this is Quill has seen a vision. This is what portent represents. Is like Quill has seen this happen. Is this like Quill shouting out like, Ayla, wait, and then like tells her when to attack? Or is this like... I mean, maybe as the ice is like coating over the entire or the affected area, mm -hmm. I suppose. Uh, and is she going to attack the tail is my next question as well. It would be the tail. All right. Um, I think it's, it's like slowly coating. Ayla would like be in the middle of this multi-attack, ready to strike before the frost really gets there. But Quill is like, wait, like... Half a second. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, just wait one second. And then she kind of pauses and then, and it perfectly times up. Um, as this does, this is going to cancel the legendary tail smash because Morgane oh, freezes it in place. Awesome. It can't bring it up yeah. to raise it. And then Ayla comes and brings that hammer down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. Um, so that's, a, that's, a, that's just a, a guaranteed hit. That's a guaranteed she hit. She automatically guaranteed hits. Hit. Uh, so we know that with Ayla, it's 4d10 base damage. So it's 40 base. It's another 4d10 for the cold damage, which is another 40 cold. It's also, she's now got that recent critical bonus Which is 4d12. Actually, that is just rolled, though, so that's 4d12. Okay, sure. Um, so what's her modifier? Because it's currently with... Let me work this out. I've got it here. So it'd be plus 13 for the rage damage bonus. So you need to roll for me. Uh, we'll do it separately. You roll 4d10 for me first, Tom Hazel. 4d10. Yep. I need to split the damage out as well to bludgeoning in cold and lightning. 
Okay, so this is 9, 10, uh, so 19, uh, 23, plus another one, 28 from the D10s. Right, so that's going to be, uh, in terms of bludgeoning damage, 81 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and I need you to roll 4d10 for the cold damage. Uh, that is... Oh, that's not as good. That's not bad, actually. Um, 13, 14, and an extra one. 17. 17. 57 cold damage. Jesus Christ. Now I need you to roll 4d12. Uh, oh, wow. That's... Uh, 4, 8, 12, 19. 19. Um, plus one more d6 for me. Oh, a d6, God. Because yeah, the hammer has a base plus d6. Plus well. three. <laughs> so that's 28 points of lightning damage. The lightning damage is sadly going to be halved um, because it is now resistant. Oh, God. Cold damage was 57 points of cold damage. Get your spreadsheets out, everybody. Oh, I've got them. This is a handwritten spreadsheet. And then 81 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. To the tail. Yeah. Uh, which is enough to break the tail's yes. armor. Nice. Uh, okay. And also do seven extra points of damage to the body. Wow, we wow, wow. <laughs> oh, god. wow, we, wow, we, oh, wow. The armor was awesome. huge then. Hmm? The armor was still pretty. 100 thick. points. 100 points, okay. Yeah. It, it starts off as 100 and it goes up every time you destroy it. So you watch as the uh, the ice of Morgane Strike freezes this tail before it has a chance to raise it. Ayla like leaps up into the air and just with one big colossus smash, poof, and you watch as not only the ice breaks, but all the armor shatters with it and breaks away, leaving the tail now fully exposed and stone more vulnerable temporarily. Um, he does become dazed and staggered, kind of interrupting the legendary action and preventing him from making more than one attack on his turn. Um, wow. Wow, we big and, turn. And big yeah, boy huge. turn. And uh, that that leap also had some extra lightning to it as a bonus action. <laughs> so right, the deck right. save. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to file the deck save. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that is nine, 11 extra damage. 11, so it becomes half to five. Oh, oh yeah, because it's, yeah. It's currently resistant. All righty. So, amazing turn from Ayla. Uh, we go to Sentry next, uh, and I'm going to try and get through this round, and then we're going to take a short break, because i got to do some maths. Yeah. I've got to add up all these different damage types yeah. to see where you're at in total HP. Does it drop Lucius? Um, it does not drop Lucius, unfortunately. Anything, this creature is tough tighter. enough. It's yeah. like, ow! Yeah. 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 Sentry. Um... Uh, I will say, keep in mind, its tail is now vulnerable. It's yeah, the only time yeah. that piercing damage um, yeah, will I'm, actually you affect best it. I believe I'm going to go mm -hmm. in. <laughs> it's not doing the uh, slam attack anymore as well. No. So yeah, I'll, gonna, I'll go it. around and hit the tail. Yep. Yeah. Well, you don't. You can just get into melee. I'll get in. Yeah, you can just sort of go. I, uh, <gasps> oh, no, look, look she's fell out. Oh, yeah. so if you get to sort of like here, you can still attack the tail, especially nice. when you're big with, with uh, Star Breaker as well. All righty, let's have a go at this then. All right, so we get the giant, the enlarged sentry with the gargantuan Giga Lance. <laughs> uh, That's got much 16. Lower, isn't it? Uh, 16 total. Yep. Unfortunately, that is not even enough. Even with its lowered AC, <laughs> its AC lowered is 21. All right, let's try again. That's better. 30. 30 is going to hit. Woo! All right, let's make this count. Uh, big, big yes. dece me. Big dece. Level 4 Divine Smite, please. Dece me. Dece me. Oh. Divine Smite. Oh, okay. Dece me. Okay. Hit with that dece me. Well, dece me. One, two. Don't you dece me. Four, <laughs> you can dece me in these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> these boys. Two. Four. This is such an anti joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any stop, sense. Stop it. Stop enjoying that so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love anti jokes. They make me laugh. Shit. <laughs> oh. 39 on that one. Is that um, all Seven. radiant or is that. Uh, the Radiant was... Oh, because it's Force as well, isn't it's it? It's Force damage. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, if you can split the Force and the Radiant out for me, sorry. Uh, that's all right, it's all right. Um, if you need to re-roll it, that's fine. Um, I, think, I think I've still got them integral. Uh, what is... 12 take 30... Whatever it was that I rolled. 39. What, minus 12? Yeah. 
17. 17. So 17 force. 27. 27. 27 force. 27 force. Uh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait. No, because I can't roll 27 on two d12s. Please forgive me. Uh, Re, do you know what? Re-roll. Just re-roll the damage. <laughs> Just re-roll all the damage, but if you can split out the radiant and the force for me. Yeah. Get Sorry, your d4s forgot. as well. Yeah. Okay, so force damage, nine. Nine points of force damage. Cool. Radiant, three. Four. Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four, so that was worse than my last roll. Twenty-four. Radiant, mm-hmm. and then Just a, re-roll. a D4 on a four, 28. It'd be piercing damage to the D4. Yes. What was it? Was it four? It was, was just it? a four on the. Yeah, I'll just add that. 28. I'll just add that. And then plus seven, my bonus. My brain is so shit today. 20. It's baby brain. It's right. I've got it. Don't worry. I, right. If the individual numbers, I can assign them where they need to go. Right, it's fine. You. I got it. My brain is broken. Uh, yeah. Cool. Nice. Um, so the second strike, the first strike just glances off. Maybe it was the ice kind of being thrown off. It just deflected Starbreaker at the last second. But that second strike slams in and does a hefty blow nice. uh, to, to Stonemore as you strike. And can um, I bonus action 30 feet towards Refra? Yep. So you misty step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And can I tell him to get Lucius? Yeah, absolutely. Out of Stonemore's mouth. Yep, is. absolutely you can. Uh, that will happen on his turn. Nice. I think. Which is before mine, which is great. Yes, it is, good, yeah. yeah very good. All right, three Century turns. Done? Yep, I'm done. Thank Quill. you. Quill. Three turns for more gain, FYI. Also, because I'm not... Oh, thank you. Did you roll the D- yeah. D3? Was that plus one? D3 plus one? Oh, D3 plus four turns, then I rolled a four six. Turns. Yeah, yeah. So it's four turns for more gain. Um, for remem- remembering. Quill, Quill, Quill. Quilly, Quilly, Quill. Quill. We have Quill, then FYI, Nova is next. I'm I pretty sure you know what you're going to do. Then Stonewall. Okay. Um... He is open. I'm gonna do a chromatic orb <laughs> at okay. seventh level. Okay. Uh, please hit, because okay. I normally miss. Oh, right. Lower AC. Plus ten, so I need what? Twenty-one. You need eleven. Great. Fifteen plus ten. Uh, Twenty-five. So. Hits. 3d8. What type of energy? 4d8, 5d8, 6d8, 7d8, 8d8, 9d8 damage. Uh, lightning, obviously. Oh, no, good. not resistant. lightning. Wait, shit. I thematically locked chromatic orb to lightning. Yep. Roll your 9d8 lightning damage, please. Why did I have to Hold make on. such an intricate and cool, historically oh, accurate character? Lucius coming in with the save. Reaching out from Stonewall. This does use your reaction, keep in mind. So you won't have a reaction left. Yeah. All right. Um, I reach out with a bloodied glove, and I, in the air, you see your lightning convert into, let's go with ice. Confetti. <laughs> into a, a spear. That... Oh, a lightning spear. Frozen lightning spear. You have to yell, frozen lightning spear! This <laughs> doesn't call out. It's... Frozen storm spear! It doesn't do that. You do. <laughs> no, yeah, otherwise fair. it doesn't work. <laughs> That's the rules. Why do you keep shouting your attacks? <laughs> Is it some sort of vocal activated system? <laughs> um, so, yeah, 98. Cold damage. Cold damage. Which does work. He's not resistant to currently. Has currently. crashed. Currently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too much damage. Uh, everywhere. 36 damage. 36 points of cold damage. Wonderful. So the evil. frozen lightning spear <laughs> strikes, um, impaling into stone more. Uh, does again seems seems to be wounded by it. Does seem to be uh, seem to take it quite badly. Nice. Um, end of anything else on your turn, Quill? Uh, I want to separate from this group because he likes groups. Him. Mm. He does. And I'm going to fly just like thirty feet to south, just some. Uh, oh, he's going south for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm going to hibernate. <laughs> <laughs> it's hibernation time. Right. <laughs> Flying up in the air, Quill. Yeah. And you, uh, how high off the ground do you want to be? I'll just be like. 20 feet up. 20 feet up. Yeah. Right. Good to know. All right, Nova. Um, both the Echo and I will surge forward okay. and go for the tail. 10, 15, 20, 30. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get in range. But he's a 
a big boy and his tail's right there. He is, but you have to be within five feet of him. Poop distance of me. He's got big shit. So am I, am I aware or not? You are currently not in melee. You have to be within five feet for your attacks. He has a reach of 15 feet, but you do not. And again, I know the mini, the tail is like up, but you know, the creature's moving around. You have to be within melee range. Um, so you, if you don't have a bonus, if you bonus action, you yeah, can well, close. I can, I can misty step because mm -hmm. I have the. Um, Unfortunately, the, the I, echo. Huh? The echo can't get further, can it? Yeah, no. Um, so that means just a little bit of non-damage because I was going to unleash Incarnate with the echo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess if I fry my um, bonus action, I was going to misty step away, so I'll probably just have to take damage from whatever's coming next. Um, well, I mean, it's it, it's legendary is interrupted, but it will get an attack. Yeah, yeah. Potentially. Uh, okay, I'll use my bonus to so with the sword I can now uh, activated. I can now bonus action misty step. Yep. Every turn, so I will misty step within range. Cool. Yep. Um, and then you sort of like leap forward and you just disappear in like a a, a portal of starlight, basically, and then you come out of it striking. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, first attack. The natural one. That's going to miss, unfortunately. Natural one always misses. I love this game. <laughs> uh, 19 to hit. Ah, still not enough, unfortunately. 21, even when it's weak and state. Oh, that's I unfortunate. This. I love this. I love this game so much. You seem to be enjoying it. That's a natural one again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, you did have, like, three natural 20s last yeah. time. The dice karma is just like, one no, no, no. One of them was a 19. One of them was a 19. Which is still technically a crit for you. They didn't know that. I know. It, the dice know that. The <laughs> dice are 100%. No, that really sucks. I'm really sorry, buddy. But, yeah, unfortunately, um, maybe it's the, you know, you're not used to this blade uh, and maybe just that strange oddness of that incarnation and... You felt that it wasn't quite right. I think it's not right. This isn't, yeah, I think probably Something she's, still fills off. She's really put off by this yeah. echo. It's yeah. not right. Yeah. Like, you, know. you know that it it is an echo of Tiangong, but it is not. Slash wasn't. Yeah, something real uh, weird So about unfortunately, it. no, Nova dashes forward, but the strikes are ineffective. Um, right. I'm sorry. So that was bonus action, move, and action. Yeah. So unless you want to action surge... I action surged last time. Yeah, that's right. So. You've only got one use. All right. Carry on. Uh, in that case, Stonemore on Stonemore's turn uh, is basically can't really do too much at this point, being dazed um, and everything else. Um, it's just going to slam their tail down on Nova. Uh, they yep. currently have Lucius in their mouth. They can't make another bite attack whilst Lucius is in their mouth. That's good. Um, why not? Because uh, they've got you in its mouth. They can't bite more things if you're in it. You're in between the teeth. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to bite down there. Uh, it could bite you, but you're already taking damage each turn, so it's going to try and smack somebody that's you know charged it's to bite down. It. Oh, yeah, it's it's minmaxing. So only got min one attack a turn as well. Of the yeah, so that's what I mean. It's days, so yeah, it only yeah. gets one attack a turn. So I'd rather just hit you with its already yeah. you know in in place bite. Uh, that is going to be. I know you want me to hit you because you've got armor of Agathis. Mm -hmm. I know you want that, but I'm smart. Uh, that is going to be a thirty to hit you, Nova. Hmm, let me just check. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Gonna hit. Yeah, Can yeah, you make yeah. a strength saving throw for me? No. Please? Well, I'm afraid you need to. Um, I'm going to use this one. Uh, I'm going to use Indomitable to re-roll my strength saving throw, please. Okay. Because that was a 5 minus 2. Sure. Ooh. 13 minus 2. You're still going to fail, unfortunately, and you're going to take 21 points of bludgeoning damage. And you are knocked back 15 feet next to sentry and knocked prone. As it just swats you with its tail. Whack! Um, can Rhiannon roll 2d6 for me? Yay! Well, before you give her this, can you share that with the class? <laughs> I said if it's dazed, can it get knighted? <laughs> New condition, knighted. <laughs> Six and a one, the dichotomy. A six and a one. You watch as the volcano plumes on its back seem to respark to life. Uh, it's recharged, erupting doom. Um, back. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Uh, but then that brings us to the NPCs. Rethra is going to do exactly that. Oh, I was going to ask. Yeah, oh, you were sorry. Ask, but you forgot. I rolled two natural ones. I was a bit distracted by that. Can I have a blessing from the DM? No. Uh, Rethra, where would you like to go, Lucius? I was going to ask Vanya to attack. Uh -huh. um, just Lucius can do it on his turn, then. Away from... Oh, okay. I'll go into this... Rock? <laughs> yeah, I'll slam into the rock. <laughs> 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 just just, just here. next to it. 
Over here? Yeah. Okay. So Rethro is going to do the same thing. He kind of like, he sees you in the mouth. He like throws the Not again. out. <laughs> uh, this time, like maybe you grab onto the handle of it and then he whoosh, whips you across. You gain 20 temporary hit points. Um, Holy crap. Mm -hmm. You're going to be stocked up on those. So, so now you've got the armor of ice and then you're wreathed in magical flame at the Holy exact five, same time. HP right now. Blue yeah. fire. Yeah. Um, oh, just remember that the the cold damage, the bonus of armor of Agathist will go after 25. 25 when you've only yeah. got 20 left, it, yeah. it still disappears. Um, but he does, he throws it out to you and he whoosh, whips you across to the side. Um, you roll the D3. Huh? To That's right, yeah. Can you roll a D3 actually, Lucius? I'll have you do it, seeing as it benefited you. The uh, what? That will be four, so it's a... Two, so two. three turns. So Is that plus for Rethra? One. That's for Rethra. Three, three turn recharge. Not turn. Um, <clears throat> Morgane is currently engaged. Um, oh, congratulations. I think Senna <laughs> is going to move up. I think that basically, <laughs> Rethra's already moved. Um, Vanya will do a ranged attack, and the NPCs are basically seeing that it's currently weakened. They're going to attack it in its weakened state. They currently do double damage whilst it's weakened, so they're going to do some extra damage to its body. Um, so that would be 10 points of damage each. So between them, they do um, 30 points of damage. Oh, nice. More than me. Lol. So it'll be two. 10 each rather than 5 each this turn. Two, two. All right. Um, Lucius, you're going to be the last one in our round. Uh, Lucius is going to call lightning. Okay, so that's your action. It's resistant now, right? It is resistant to lightning. Is it immune? It's not immune currently, no. I'm going to do it. All right. Thank you. What's an action to do? It's an action. Oh. Six, ten. Yeah, I mean, I can make it. I'll try and make it. Oh, look. Nine saving for dex. 38. 38 points. All right. Once it takes uh, 26 points of that, it then becomes immune to oh. lightning. Uh, it caps out a certain amount of lightning damage. Cool. So you watch as the lightning strikes it, and all of that, the you know, you see it still affect its body, but now it plunges those spikes into the ground, and you see the lightning kind of arc up and down its body, um, and yeah, it kind of grounds itself, and then you watch as the lightning just dissipates away from it. It am become lightning. It am become lightning. Um, you also yeah. begin Damn. to see now it's immune. Uh, where you saw like the glands for like its fire, like the volcanoes on its back, where it spewed the acid. Lightning is now crackling up and down its body as well, similar to Ayla. Cool. Uh, it gains a new recharge ability called Storm Aura. D Storm Aura? Oh. Damn! Mubby! <laughs> <laughs> um, you knew so, that like when it took some yeah. amount of damage, it adapts, so... I'm going to quicken a spell again. Okay. And for my bonus action, I'm going to Chromatic Orb, fire into the stone. Okay. Whilst moving forward, and I'm going to use defensive dichromancy to pull upon that fire to give someone in front fire resistance. Okay. I will allow it. Yep. Uh, who is fucked? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, just any, anyone? Emotionally. I can do it within 30 feet, so I could You move. basically give fire resistance to one person. For like, basically, I can... How long does that last? Eight, look, defensive right dichromancy yeah. until... In his biz. Uh, end of my next turn. Okay, end of Lucius's next turn. Probably Ayla. Just seeing the vents. Yeah, Ayla does actually, yeah, look Ayla kind then. of, yeah, like, kind of beaten up. Ayla has fire I mean, she's, resistance. She's probably still got more hit points than Quill, but... She does, but I'm out of range. Yeah. Well, are you? We'll find out. Of he can fly. Lucius, I mean. Ah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right, so you're going to give Ayla fire resistance. Yes. All right, Tom, remember that. Um... So I just slam my hand into the... Yeah, you kind of... Well, you just... Yeah, you basically chromatic orb, you slam it into the rock, but then you pull the fiery energy away and sort of create this shield around the Ayla, this fiery aura shield. Um, great. Love it. Great turn. With that, that is going to bring us... Uh, so you guys... That was your fifth round? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that brings our team up to four rounds, and then you guys are on round six. Um... On that All right. In that case, uh, that is where we are going to take a quick five-minute break. <sighs> Thanks for joining us in this first part. Can be more than that. We'll be back very soon to continue this battle against Stonewall whilst Chris Trot breaks our set. <laughs> we'll see you. Enjoy the fan art video. Enjoy um, the fan art video. We'll see you soon. 
Hey, I probably should have mentioned the fan art video in this bit, but yeah, it is fine. Uh, we're going to go on our break now. Uh, enjoy the fan art video. Um, you can go and check that out. We'll be back. I think it's like, what, seven-ish minutes? Seven so it's minutes. Yeah, wow. about like seven minutes. A lot minutes. of art. Um, and then we'll be back. Over a uh, hundred pieces. Uh, uh, and yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll continue this battle. All right, see you in a bit. Peace. Welcome back to part two of Erois. Hi, Rollers! Oh, oh my god. god. Enjoy that one, Tom. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we find our heroes still in the battle against Stonemoor. Uh, they have unleashed some pretty devastating attacks against this uh, hunter, this predator, this apex predator. Uh, however, despite this immense amount of firepower and tremendous martial force they have brought down on it, the party it is still in fighting condition. Mm. Uh, they are not sure where they stand as they are relying on their allies to also be able to fight off this beast uh, and delay things. It is the top of a new round, but... Oh. Top of the new round to you. <laughs> Listen, Jack, Jack will come after us, okay? <laughs> we can't do that. Um, before the round begins, before Ayla takes her turn, a couple of things happen. The armor on Stonewall's tail yes. regrows back. Uh, you watch as the armor plating thicker, harder, regrows. Stronger, faster. The next thing, Stonemore, when uh, those last couple of attacks, um, as they struck Stonemore, uh, the, the you know colossal blow to the tail, sentries pierced with the lance, um, the Lucius's, uh, the, the spear of frozen lightning as it impaled it. You watch as for the first time, blood kind of sprays out Ooh. and scatters on the ground. Oh. Um, dark, thick, coagulated blood kind of hits the ground. And you watch Stonemore kind of hunching itself down, not like a wounded animal that's afraid, but a creature that is furious that you have harmed it. And it lets out this bellowing roar that just echoes through the forest. The anger. And the very air around you seems to grow heavy and thick. Even though you began this ambush maybe sort of in the mid midday hours, it begins growing dark as if the sun is setting. And the trees seem to almost stretch their limbs and their shadows seem to extend. And in the distance, and, sh and Sentry specifically, you feel like something shaking in your vines, no. and Briar is holding on to you, trembling in fear, oh, like boy. absolute abject terror. The rest of you begin to look out, and you can see on the horizons of the glade, almost being called to Stonemore as their primal fury, their rage, their pain has been building. Dark spirits oh. beginning to sort of <laughs> oh. lurk on the edges. Mm. Oh, he's got fistfuls of minis again. Bloody hell. Yes. A fistful of minis. Yes. What are they? Oh, gosh. Wraiths. And these yeah. dark spirits, they have distorted appearances. If you've ever seen stuff like Princess Mononoke and stuff, you know, these look like woodland creatures, but just like strange spirit-like, you know, versions. Um, they have too many eyes, dark red eyes. They have too many limbs where they shouldn't. Um, there's one that almost has like a deer-like appearance, but its antlers seem to become twisted and almost resemble like hands oh, like, reaching out nice. to try and grip you. Um, and they all seem to be being drawn towards this glade, where this battle specifically. That's so um, uncool. There's um, four of them. Yeah. Cool. Four for now. Okay. Um, you, but you can see more than four. Like, you see them all around, like, the outskirts. Um, you hear cries from several of the hunters, the borough folk and the wild elves, who have been oh. lurking in the trees, firing arrows. Like, they've been contributing to the battle, but they know that their weapons are going to be fairly ineffectual against Stonemore. You hear several of them, like, God, but it got no, 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 and then they vanish. They get dragged off into the darkness by some unseen force. That's cool. um, uh, but yeah, that's and that's what you see in that quick moment, right? Like, mm. if you want to analyze these guys, you can do, but that's going to be on your turn. Uh, it'll be a free action if you want to try and figure out what's going on with these guys. Um, and yeah, we kick things off with Ayla. Um, well, these things are at the very edge of the battle, and Ayla is in the middle. One quick thing. Yes. Uh, Lucius would get a report on his... Messenger stone. Beep, 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 Lou? Beep, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Uh, it's Kim Possible. No. Um, 
you hear uh, you hear Danica. Lucius, we're currently, uh, just to let you know, uh, we are currently at 50% uh, of vitality against Stormwind. Wow, well done. And I believe that uh, I believe that Erin, the Baroness, is currently at 60% oh. uh, against theirs. <laughs> well done to you. Well, uh, it's not a competition, but yes. Um, w- and, and then, yeah, like, uh, once you know what you're at, let us know. I, I, I'd hazard a guess, but uh, don't take it as accurate. No, it's fine. Just let use the use the vitoculus and let us know when you can. Message. All right, like uh, Okay. Uh, sorry. Stormwing, fifty. Yes. And storm surge scale, surge scale. sixty. Sixty. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, uh, Ayla is going to continue the assault this time on the head. Okay. Um, uh, so with the head, you will need to climb up on the creature. Uh, the body and the tail you can strike from below, but the head is like a good twenty feet off the ground. Um, okay, well, she's still got charges on fly on the hammer. She does. So I think... Um, so it's the land before the end of her next turn, so... Land on its back, then? Yeah, she could do. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You can just fly up and land on its back. And just start whacking the top of its head. Yeah. Start bonking. Absolutely. Get to that bonking. Get bonking. Um, and we'll go with a... Yeah, just a regular old... Double whacking. All right, go for uh, it. So plus 15. The first one is 19. That's not enough. The second is reckless. Uh, I've done that to the start with. Yeah, I fucking know I should have done. Uh, 25. 25 just hit. Yeah, I know. That's... Does it? It does think... not. It's 26 AC base. It's 21 when it's reduced. Even reckless. So Ayla just... Ah, but the armor plating, thick as it is, the attacks do not strike. Wow. Also, Reckless is uh, only on the Plus first 15, attack on the turn. Ayla has to roll an 11 or higher, so it's just, you know, it's bad, bad average. <coughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. That's the two attacks. And then deck save. And deck save. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. It's now immune to lightning, so the lightning damage won't affect mm. it at all. <laughs> Well, it would have taken uh, 11. All right, so Ayla done. We now go Sentry, then it's Quill, then Nova. Um, can I try and deduce what these spirits are? Mm, uh, this would be a, you can make Arcana, Religion, or Nature. And because you have Briar, you can do this with advantage. Oh, cool, OK. Arcana, nature. Religion. 11. Advantage. 14. Arcana, Religion, Nature. Oh, my religion is 19. 19 is enough. You remember kind of talking to the Borough folk and learning a bit about the spirits of the forest when you were in uh, Star Watch, and you know that this place, this El Seraph, is, is saturated in primal magic here. The rocks, the rivers, the trees, the grass, all have these nature spirits. But if those things have spirits, it's likely that other things have spirits too. Blood, bones, death, rage, fear. All of these things probably can manifest as spirits. Uh, if you've read things like the Stormlight Archives, like the Spren, like Fear Spren and Agony Spren, um, these are representations of that as well. And it's Stonemore is so powerful in terms of primal magic, it is calling to these spirits and it is looking to absorb them to grow stronger. It is going to try and absorb them and use them to grow more powerful. Right, okay. Mechanically, if these things get within a certain range, you don't know how close, if these things get within a certain range of stone more, uh, it won't heal stone more. I'm not going to do that. This fight's already long as it is. It will massively increase how much damage stone more can do. It basically is going to well, supercharge him each time. And there's currently four. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And they may have their own sort of abilities and threats and dangers as well. You've heard, you can already tell that they've killed some of the hunters in the woodland. Um, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. If you want more details, you can also ask the other guys, but for now, Sentry, that's going to be all the information you can gleam on this turn. Right. But like characters like Sana and Vanya and, uh, you know, those guys might know more. Okay. Um, I'll just I'll just shout, but don't let those spirits get anywhere near Stonemore. Okay. All right. Um, that's a free action, by the way. So that's just cool. you kind of like having a quick look around and figuring this stuff out. Um, I'm going to go up and try and attack the spirit that's up in the north. This one? Yep. So please. Stomping over. Stomping over. Over Over Nova's body. Yeah, and these things do look like, you know, they can be struck. They do look like, you know, active creatures, basically. All right, I'll give it a... Oh, yeah, they're not, like, 
ethereal. No, no, no. They, 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 they kind of are, but they look physical enough that they can be struck with weapons and things like that. 27 to hit that one. 27 will hit. Nice. All right, let's do this. Let's do this properly this time. Do this. I say the word like, these are dark spirits, but they're not like ghosts. They're like nature spirits, right? They're not like okay. ghosts or anything like that. So turn undead won't probably affect them. I'll say that Sentry knows that these don't count as undead. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Doing a level one divine smite, so mm -hmm. 3d8. So then my base, so my force damage for Starbreaker is six. Okay. Uh, divine smite damage was garbage, uh, six as well. So 12 total. 12 total. So far. And then 13 on a d4, so yeah, so 13 coat, counting the d4, and then so 20 total with my bonus. All right, okay. Uh, so the lance does strike, the first attack pierces through, and the spirit kind of, this one looks almost like a kind of warped uh, boar, or like a wild hog, and it kind of, and you see its face like open up like the predator. Oh, oh damn, man. that's cool. And it all like filled with teeth on the inside. Nice. Grim. All right, try and attack again. Mm -hmm. 17. 17 hits. Oh, nice. Yeah, these things are like, Stonemore is like covered in armor and tough height. These aren't, you know, these aren't, you know, as armored or defended. So that's eight force damage. Mm-hmm. Two, three, uh, 10, 17 damage for Divine Smite. It's a level for one. Radiant, yep. And then D4, three. Yep. So that's, and then plus seven as a bonus. And then plus seven, 35. Nice. So that's a total. Okay. All right, great. The second strike, you can see that this southern spirit is nearly kind of deapparated, but it is still present. Um, after those two strong blows, it is still currently present. Okay. Um, and I will bonus action use my aura of vitality. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give Nova 2d6 healing because I'm within 30 feet of her. Okay. You. That's five healing. <laughs> All right. We have Quill next. Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to think of the thing I want to do, but healing seems to be a priority right now. Uh, I'm going to fly down so that I'm within range of 60 feet of six targets again. Uh, ideally, Lucius, because he got chomped hard. I think that's pretty much going to you kind of go to heal. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, is that weird? Is that weird? <laughs> yeah, I want to be out of range of that. Uh, saying that, I think you can pretty much do it from pretty much where you were. You don't even need to fly down. It's 60 feet range. You can go cool. to that here. Um, and yeah, it's another mass cure wounds. Okay. Um, another sixth level. So it's 48 to me, Lucius, Ayla, uh, Do and any of our NPCs look super hurt? Um, currently, no. Okay. Uh, both Reth, or all of them, Rethra, Morgane, and Sana. Uh, Vani is too far away, really, to have been involved. Um, they all have taken... They basically have, like, three boxes of, like, if they get hit three times, they're out. Mm -hmm. um, all of them have got one checkbox marked. Uh, checkbox marked. Okay. How's uh, Sentry? I'm um, all right. Not, 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 not the worst. Sentry as well. Uh, Nova. I'm fine. What, like full fine or? Yeah. Uh, in that case, the two that are right in front of Stonewall right now. Uh, so Sana and Morgane. Sana and Morgane. Yeah. Um, and it's over be... a certain threshold. It basically gets clears a box for them, so they can take another hit. Nice. So that's uh, forty-eight plus six. One, two, three, four. Um, and that is going to come up right now. It is this. 32. 32. <laughs> to everyone. Thank you. Sure um, For anybody wondering at home, uh, obviously, if I didn't trust these guys, I wouldn't use that kind of system for health because you could absolutely gamify them. Just be like, well, I'll just make the NPCs tank it all the time because they're easy to heal. I, could, I, I would do that if I didn't trust these guys. <laughs> but I trust these guys. I don't want them to game. take the hits. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah. This. <laughs> we, we don't this want is... them to kill steal. So. Yeah, 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 exactly that. Uh, great. Anything else, Quill? Um, as a feature, I'm going to harness divine power to a bonus action to restore a spell slot. Okay. Uh, level 
Three. All righty. So we have Nova, and it will be Stonewall's turn. Is the Echo within... Could it get to the... So that five, with 30 10, feet? 15, 20. These are all cleared, by the way. I'm going to actually clear all this difficult terrain. Nice. No more fire. Well, until he does that ability again. What? He is building up his volcanoes. 15, 20, 25, 30. No, 30, I think no. I'll get him here. Okay. Hit them here. Um... Okay, can I stand up, please? Yes, half your move. And I'm just trying to think which one to attack. Sentry's one is is nearly destroyed, but not quite. Mm. I'm just wondering the one that I was trying to send um, the echo to, like if they were, uh, like if it's more sm smarter to go for the one that is attacking Lucius, because I can make it with move and mm -hmm. uh, misty step. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go towards the one um, on Lucius's side. Like five, so 10, 30 15, foot 20, movement. 30 to here. And then 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is there any, OK, can I get towards the other one then with Which that? One? The, one? Yeah. Yeah, I think that one you could because you were about okay. here. And then, yeah, you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, you can absolutely get to within the range of this one. Uh, in which case, I'll um, start a whacking on that. All righty. Uh, let's hope it does something. That is a six, 14 plus 13. That's going to hit. hit. Yep. Uh, so 1d8. So that's going to be... Seven. So 10 points of slashing damage and 6 points of radiant damage. Give me a second. Uh, repeat that, sorry. 10 points of slashing mm -hmm. um, and six of radiant. Okay. Uh, you can just add the total. Against the spirits, it doesn't really doesn't matter. matter. They all take the same damage. So 16 points of damage from that first attack. Uh, 19 plus 13 to hit on the it's, second one. And is a crit? Oh, no, it's, it's not, not because, because it's the crit's on, on them. Stonewall. Big yep. boy. Uh, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Third attack. Oh, actually, that echo can go to the one that's on um, that's on Sentry. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep, absolutely can. Um, so can I unleash Incarnate? Well, do your do you roll your third attack. You got three attacks against this one. You're currently fighting. Uh, okay, so thirteen plus eight. That will hit. To hit. Yep, twenty-one. Uh, four, five, six, seven, fourteen points of damage. Fourteen more points of damage. Uh, sorry, hang on. I'll work something out. Yep. Uh, and then if you want to, you can unleash Arcanet to make an attack from the uh, Echo Space. So I can do that uh, every time I make a melee attack, every time I make the attack action. Yeah, so once, so, I, so it's you can do it once, basically. Because you make the attack action once, and then you make three attacks as part of that action, and then you can have the Echo make one extra attack. Um, but that would be without the 1d8 radiant because that's specifically on nope, my... It's, no, it's, 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 it bases on your... It's you making the attack through the echo space, effectively. 17 to hit. 17 hits. Okay. Yeah. These guys aren't super tough to hit. Uh, five, 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage is actually enough to destroy this spirit. Nice. So you watch as uh, the echo of maybe Tiangong um, sort of passes through it and you see that same kind of starlight uh, thing phase through it, the spirit just becomes dissipated. I think Sentry just like glance down at the Tiangong. And it does look like Tiangong to you. It was only it was only Quill that, it, 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 it's like a faded, like a ghostly yeah. version of them. Tiangong? Doesn't respond. Ah, oh, interesting. All right. Nova, anything That's else? Me? Uh, in that case, after Nova Vija, Stonemore. Chris Trot. Hello. Roll a d6 for me. <laughs> Two. All right. Okay. In that case, uh, Stonemore is going to do several things. <clears throat> no longer dazed. Busy boy. Busy boy. Oh. You rotate. <laughs> You're doing another. You were only about 20 feet rotate. off the ground, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh you're perfect. You're perfect for crunch size. <laughs> yeah. dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. <laughs> How convenient. I like to make things easy for everyone. Chicken wings are coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
he's going to do a couple of things. Uh, so, uh, the first thing he's going to do is I'm just going to do his normal attacks. Uh, so, he's going to make a bite attack against Quill. 35 to hit. That does it. Yeah, no, that will do. You're I'm going to remember all the correct D12s this time. It's okay. I'm an honourable boy. You are. You're a good boy. You're a really good boy. I'm an honourable boy. <laughs> Uh, 40 points of piercing damage. <laughs> You're grappled. Oh, again. Yeah. In he goes. If, if, he, if he hits you, <laughs> you get grabbed. Him like verb. Um, so he chomps down on Quill, grabs him in his mouth, bites him. Um, instead of making a tail attack, he's going to try and throw uh, Ayla off. I need Ayla to make a acrobatics check to try and keep her balance. Uh, okay. Is a bonus from Rage on acrobatics? Not on acrobatics. That is a 15. 15 is not going to be enough. <laughs> Throws her off. She lands prone on the ground. That's going to replace his tail attack. And then the last thing he's going to do, erupting doom. <laughs> so he shoots okay. these kind of four uh, great meteors up into the air. Oh, Sorry, how much? Right behind me. How much damage was Doesn't the Doesn't immediately again? do damage, this one. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, they're coming down. They're shadows right now. Yeah. So this is the telegraphing phase. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much damage was the bite again, sorry? 40. Okay. That's basically over you, Lucius. I just don't want to control your mini. So I'm going to be like over those two. Uh, so yeah, the shadows are looming up. Um, and it is, you don't know when this is going to land. Uh, um, that is moves, erupting doom. Make a bite attack. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we go to NPCs. Uh, <coughs> NPCs. These two are just going to run the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I would. They're just gonna, in fact, they're going to try and engage this spirit. They're going to run over with Sentry calling out to them. They'll absolutely run over there. Wrath will do the same thing and try and back up Lucius. Wrath will that. Yeah. Um, the spirits, unfortunately, <laughs> then... Uh, so these guys they get attacks of opportunity. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna just basically because they all move yeah. at the same time. These guys are just gonna engage them. You get an attack opportunity, Nova. I will take that attack of opportunity. Mm hmm. Uh, that's a 2 plus 13, 15. 15 is not enough, unfortunately. Yeah. So you just swipe kind of like not used to, kind of almost used mm -hmm. to Tiangong guiding you for these kind of instances. Your reflex is not quite honed enough as it is. Lucius. Uh, Lucius is going to move around and away from the shadow. Oh, I'm just going to quickly do some damage to those spirits, the NPCs, whilst you uh, yeah. just tell me what you're doing. Um, I'm going to Chromatic Orb at first level. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, so oh, basically, clever. the NPCs pretty much guarantee they always do five points of damage. So ten points of damage to the eastern spirit, and then five points of damage to the north spirit. Uh, yeah, I hit with my first level. Uh, sorry, with a what was it? Chromatic orb. Chromatic yes. against the spirit. Yeah. Okay. And it's three d eight at level one. Okay. Which is six points. Ice. Six points of ice to but the northern spirit. I have prismatic mastery, which mm -hmm. means my dichromancy is 24 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you oh, add so one that, that, that upon it. Okay. Um, All right. And I'm going to call out a sentry. Um, we've been requested to get an update on its vitality, if you don't mind. <clears throat> okay. So All right. Light. Is that the end of your turn, Lucius? I've forgotten what percentages they said, actually. I'll ask again next time. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'm sure we're doing fine. Uh, uh, they said uh, 50 on Stormwing, 60 on the other one. Uh, <laughs> speaker. <laughs> All right. um, in that case, uh, we will drop you into your seventh round um, with Ayla at the top of the round. Uh, at the top of the round, uh, Old Stone Moor is going to prepare another legendary action. Oh, okay, yes. as long as he's not venting. Uh, look towards Nova Vija. Oh, and no, because no, he's seen. He's going to look towards Lucius. Oh no! And he's going to start. 
lower oh. his head ready oh. to charge. Oh, and if he charges that way, he hits uh, the spirit. Yeah, because he charged me and I just, just stepped out of the way. Yeah. He did. But if he um, hits that spirit, he might absorb. Ayla's turn. Uh, gonna stand up. Gonna move slightly out of range of this uh, meteor that's coming down. Yeah, where's that gonna be? Uh, just round uh, to the to your left. This way. That's right. This way. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Just out of the range of this uh, this thing, 15. but still within range to whack this boy. Yeah. Okay. So Twenty-five. There you go. Um. Remember, if you need to strike the head, it needs to be. He needs up to in the strike air. the head. Strike their head for massive damage. Giant Stop. enemy crab. <laughs> Giant enemy crab. Uh, I think she fires a charge. Look at its massive claws. A charge on her jump ability, I believe. Crab battle. So. Oh, that's taking me back to my games journalist days. <laughs> He's just going to do that, I think. Just, yeah, use the fly last, speed again. The last again. charge, yep. Yeah, use the fly, fly speed up. to just get back get onto whack. its head and keep keep whacking away. Yep. Um, and maybe try to control this thing when it does its dash move so it hits a wall, becomes stunned for a turn, which is when we can, you know... Listen, I'm not putting all of the Monster Hunter mechanics in this one, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is it fire immune? It is. Yes. Yeah, so you couldn't really steer it into its own meteor. Mm. Could take four stats from it, right? Yeah. Um, well, either way, take any damage from its own mutants. Either way, I'm going to go recklessly. All right, two wax on the head, on the old noggin. Double wax, fifteen. Dong. Natural twenty. Yes, let's go. Big boy damage. I'm playing the game. You are. So uh, <laughs> we know it's forty. Finally. Plus 13, it's 53. Lightning damage no longer takes any effect. Mm -hmm. um, it's immune. So it's just roll 4d10 for me, and then it's plus 53. <laughs> 4d10 plus 53. Mm -hmm. Sure, of course it is. High level barbs, man. Like, they're, they're the, the crit, crit, crit babies. Crit bab. That's uh, 17, 20. So 73 points of damage to the head. Uh, yes. Wow. Attack number one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, you see Stonewall almost like reeling like, <laughs> as it gets smacked from on top of its own head. I also take damage from the force of this being in its mouth. Uh, I don't. It forces the jaws <laughs> shut. Yeah. Um, and the second attack. Uh, 11 plus 26. Uh, 26 is, is hit, yeah, it's a normal hit. So, uh, so... 40, 10 plus 13. 40, 10. No rate, no lightning damage. 16, 20, <laughs> one, and another one. 23 total. Wait, is that with the plus nine, sorry? I've added, yeah, oh, that's yeah. the plus 13. That's including oh, range of damage course, yeah. and stuff as well. Um, you watch as that second blow, you see a big crack form along the oh. skull plating, but doesn't break. Mm. And um, bonus action, can't do the lightning thing. I don't know what other bonus actions Ayla can do. Not many. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, okay. Do you want it to stay up on its back? Stay there, hold on. Okay. If this dash is about to happen, All right. she wants to stay attached to it. Okay, sentry. Then we have Quill, then Nova. Can I move 30 feet up to Stonewall, just on his side there? Yeah. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Nice. And then if I do destructive wave, can I hit um, both of these dark spirits? What's the range on destructive 30 wave? Thirty feet. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You yes. can. Does it hit every creature or just creatures you choose? Each creature you choose within thirty All feet. Right. So you can ignore right through. The only thing I'm going to say on destructive wave. Is it can't hit Stonewall's head because it's on like the, it's like a. That's fine. Is that all right? Yeah, that's cool. Um, but you, if it, what type of damage does it do? It's thunder and radiant and necrotic, and if it fails a con save, it it's can be knocked three. prone. Um, yeah, so you can take it takes five d six thunder damage as well as five d six radiant or, or necrotic. necrotic. Okay, yeah. So the only thing I say is that you can't do damage to its head, but you okay. could do damage to its body or its tail. Yeah, I'll just damage the the whole guy. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do tail or body? Let's do body. Okay. All right. Body, Good to body, know. Body. 
Alrighty, so con save, please. Con save. Okay, it's pretty good at these. We'll see. 30. Oh, yeah, it succeeds. So half damage. Half damage. And not knocked prone, I'm going to assume. Not knocked prone, no. Yeah. Right, so five. There we go. Right, so, 30. so let's do, yeah, do the first, do, do the um, thunder damage first. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15 thunder damage. 15 points of thunder damage to the body. Oh, six, seven, nine, uh, 12, 17, I'll do radiant damage. 17 radiant damage. So that brings us to. Okay. Uh, you watch as the radiant damage um, it really has an effect. You actually see the radiant damage kind of pass through this thing. Uh, break it, the, the thunder damage kind of breaks some of that hardened armor over its body, but the, the radiant damage seems to sear and burn at the inside, and you watch as you begin to see Stonewall's physiology change as it now becomes resistant to radiant damage um, as oh, uh, the, mm. the threshold has been reached, um, and you watch as there's almost this glow now to its, uh, like its belly and its like flesh underneath. It almost seems to have this radiant light uh, to it. Um, and then the wraiths, do they need to do con saves as well? The wraiths, no, I'm just going to have them fail. Okay. Um, so they'll just take, uh, just roll once for both of them. Okay. Da -da. It's going to be two. So six, ten, fourteen, sixteen. Sixteen uh, of thunder damage. Thunder damage, yep. So that's to the south and west. Was it 16, right? Yeah. Okay, that was the thunder damage. Radiant. Sorry, there's a lot going on in my brain. 16 radiant damage. And another 16 points of radiant. Are they not prone? They, uh, they will be, but give me a second. Yeah, no worries. Uh, okay, the one next to Nova is destroyed. Nice. Good. And then this one is... Just two left. Yeah, the one next to Lucius is not destroyed. It is knocked prone, but it almost seems to become like a liquid amorphous form, and it just restructures itself where it's standing up. It is technically immune to being knocked prone, but it's kind of like it does, it's like you knock the legs out from under it, and it kind of flips over, and then it almost just merges its legs into its body, Inverses. reorientates its head, and then pushes Ooh. itself back up. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. Um, and then I'll give Ref for a 2d6 healing with Aura of okay. Vitality. All right. So you get six healing. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to mark off checkbox, but it will total up. All right. Nice. Okay. Uh, bam, 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 bam. All right. Sentry, full done. All done. All done. Quill. Uh, I'm in its mouth. You are in its mouth. Uh, it's no longer venting heat, um, but you are going to still take some piercing damage. Oh, is this going to be it? That's going to be 20 points of piercing damage. Oh no! Unconscious oh. quill! Over by two. Damn it! Wait. Can Elder Quill. It stops an attack. It's not an attack, it's automatic damage. Hey. Can't save you from this one. So Elder Quill goes. So he, yeah, okay. Vanishes. Uh, Unconscious. I am. That's at the start of your turn. Downed, just as I was about to do something fucking awesome. Mm, it's a shame. Shit! Uh, yeah, I'm downed. All right. Do I, get, do, I, do I make a death save? No. no so at okay. the start of your turn, you make a death save. Okay. So start of your turn's already happened. You took the damage. You're unconscious. Rethra can only save you in two turns' time. <laughs> yeah. Nova Vija. After Nova, Stonemore. Mm, yeah, I better get Quill out, hadn't I? Yeah, you can give it. 10 rounds. Yeah, I can think about it, can't I? I mean, technically, oh, he's got three death saving throws. Gosh, yeah, but if it's Stonewall's go, he's probably going to do something crunchy and start swallowing him and digesting him. And it's going to be really tricky teleporting something out that's like, you know. Big. Just wait until I come out the other side. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I could wait until you come out the other side. Yeah. I'll be safe in there. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, he's quite acidic <laughs> and fiery inside, though. so. And lightning and radiant now. And lightning and radiant now. So it's going to be turbulent. Anyway, what are you doing? No, I will stop delaying. Get out of the way of this um, teleport uh, meteor. Yeah. 
smash. Okay. I think actually I'm just gonna go further. Am I gonna go further back? Now nah, swing me around towards um, Stonewall. S- yeah, Centra about there. Not too close. Like um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'll cast uh, another vortex warp on Quill. Okay. And uh, Quill is unconscious. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Let me check the spell. It says. I mean, I would make it a save, works. right? Oh, no. I think you so. can choose to fail, though. Well, what type of saving throw is it? Const, uh, Constitution 19. Yeah, I think you... So, you magically hmm. twist space around another creature yeah. you can see within range. Yeah, the no, target will succeed work. on a con saving throw. The target can choose to fail, or the target is teleported to an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. Well, is that an add 20? No. It's a uh, three. It doesn't matter anyway. I can't uh, make the save regardless. Yeah, in- incapacitated, unconscious... Uh, incapacitate, can make all make be fail, strength the next seven throws. Yeah, I'd say, I would say, Quill can't willingly fail this because he's not conscious. He doesn't automatically fail con saves because he's unconscious. You only automatically fail strength and deck saving throws. And because I, I think his body make a con save because it's like oh. his body naturally trying to resist this effect. I, I, like, uh, like almost like, uh, you know, unconsciously trying to resist the effect. I did as a joke and rolled a three. All right, so he fails, you get to teleport him away. Um, I will Clip them up. in the ground. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> I start slapping around Wait, like a G-Mod character. Um, next to Sentry, and then I'm just gonna be like, Sentry, I've got, like, oh, out of the Stone Wars, like, uh, yeah. There is no way you can put him next to Sentry whilst, without putting okay. him in Stone Wars. Well, just Sentry. between me and Sentry. Right put him yeah. under the shadow of the incoming meteor. Meteor, yeah, And exactly. then I'll be like, Sentry, I've got no heals! I've got no heals! Yeah. Um... I don't have any potions. I don't have any. I don't have. Do I? Have well, you're also. That was your action, right? So, yeah, that was my action. So you can heal him even if you did have a potion. Bonus action. Bonus action. I'm just. Bonus action. <laughs> oh wow! How can I? How? What's the worst worst thing? Bonus action. What is happening? Why are you doing? I don't know. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. He's gone you asked us a question as part of that is if we could assist in whatever that was. Bang, banush, actio. What are you doing? <laughs> trying to pronounce bonus action in the weirdest way. Oh, right. In the most no. obnoxious way possible. It seems like you're really like honing it in. I was having a stroke. As if it, like, you were reaching something. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like this game. So um, it says, bonus. as a bonus action for Maddening Hex, you can deal plus five psychic damage to a target cursed by your hex spell, um, but I don't have to like hit it. Like I don't, it doesn't have to be an attack or anything. I can just- Can be, it like, be hex by curse or does it have to be the hex spell? It says Maddening Hex. Yep. As a bonus action, you can deal plus five psychic damage to the target cursed by your hex spell. That this you, is not, you don't have uh, a hex or spell. Or any oh. other cursing oh. warlock feature oh, right. that no, you can yeah. see within 30 feet. Yeah, in that so, case. I'll give him a little tickle. All right, how Five much? points psychic damage. Five points of psychic damage. Eat shit. Cool. No problemo. Uh, oh, hang on, i got to work something out. I want to know what he looks like when he's immune to psychic. Is it <laughs> just a brain? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, it could be. Get like a mind flare, it just becomes like their brain mm. becomes uh, exposed. It's like those Star Trek aliens. I mean, Ayla's about to do that. Let's not find out. Uh, all right, end of turn. That, Nova Vija? That me. Is that you? That me. Stonewalls go. That him. Oh. I would like Kim Richards to roll me a d6, please. Huh. One. All right. Doesn't recharge acid reflux. That's how uh, good. Nice. God. At the start of his turn, though, meet yours. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody's in range. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll leave those there for the. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Uh, the meteors crash land. They create difficult I'm so terrain. So immersed right now. Uh, <laughs> those terrain, uh, the the meteors slam in and they leave behind this kind of smouldering crater of, of difficult terrain and, and boom, burning boom, ground, boom, boom, boom. Uh, which will be dangerous if you walk into it. Um, right. Doesn't have eruption doom. Doesn't have in the animated reflux. show. Uh, will activate its new storm aura, uh, which means Sentry uh, and Ayla, I don't think anybody else, um, need to make uh, dexterity saving throws. Uh, Ayla will have advantage on this. Oh, and a plus three from... Yeah, you get a plus three from me too. Mm-hmm. Oh, mine, mine's so good. Really good. 20. Oh, look at you go. Uh, plus a million. 
20 plus dex, 25. 28. 400. Total? Yeah. 11. 400. 11. 28. 20. 20, 20 it's hot. 20, 28. It's a big number. 28. 20, genuinely 28. Genuinely 28. Right. I can never tell with you. Um, Ada <laughs> is also resistant to lightning, I believe, so she's going to take a quarter damage. Cool. Um, Century, you're taking the full amount. Yeah. Uh, Rock and roll, buckaroo. 20. 30. I want upsies. Oh, perfect. 40 points of lightning damage. Oh, delicious. <laughs> As just it, the body, like like Aayla's Storm War, just blasts lightning around of it. It's just oh, uh, catching crazy. everybody within a certain radius. Nice. Um, and the concentration, I assume, just goes on the uh, DC 20, so you can succeed on it. Hmm. So it's constitution saving throw. God, DC 20. I'm so pissed. No, I don't. Okay. It's gone. All right. So wrong? vitality aura. Six, yeah. Oh. Aura vitality is gone. Um... So Ayla would take uh, 20, so it takes 10. Yeah. Do you want me to do that? Please, I don't have control. Oh, that's fine. I've lost control. 10 points of lightning <laughs> damage. I've lost control. Um, I hate to tell you this. Tail attack is going to slam down on the little broken bird boy who's unconscious next to you. I'm, I'm not him. there. I'm going to protect okay, him, yeah. please. You are there. Yeah, I know. Cool. Well, that's where Nova put you. Uh, so sandwich. disadvantage. Yes, please. All right. From Sentry's protection reaction. Shield raised. Disadvantage. You are, however, you are prone, which means I get advantage against you. So it's a normal attack. I mean, yeah. That is going to be 28. Son of a bitch. Two death saving throws automatically. Dang. I really want upsies, please. You didn't really. Well, you're you, out of his mouth. Yeah, you didn't really have anywhere else you could put him because of his range. If you wanted him next to Sentry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had 90 foot of yeah, range, can but that would have just put him out to die on his own in the woods. Sentry goes before him, so as long as Sentry yeah. can hear him, it's fine. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, he slams the tail on Quill, and you hear like the snapping of bird bones uh, as they get slammed. I'll fix that. Um, don't worry. Um, they don't have to break. He snaps yeah. stuff back into position. It's amazing. Turn around. Was he going to um, charge? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, Sorry. That's yeah, fine. It's good. God, you really tommed that one. He slams Quill on the way. Um, as he touches the spirit, he absorbs the spirit into his body. Shit. Uh, and then he is going to... Uh, so uh, Lucius and Rethra both need to make uh, dexterity saving throws. Sorry, let me Get out of the way. No, no, no. That's, we call that pulling a Tom Hazel, and I respect it. 18. Can I have inspiration? No. Sorry, I just got... uh, 18, <laughs> really not enough. Disconnected from uh, Rethra <laughs> uh, is... Actually, Rethra is going to uh, pass on this. Just lost uh, it. That really threw me. <laughs> what, me being you? No. Uh, Bree just said I miss absorbing spirits into my body. Right, <laughs> it's been a while, and it just really... I, yeah. I had t yeah. took a long time to think about what the hell she was talking about. That's how she got uh, That is going to be 14 points. Formed. Let's Shut up. 14 points of bludgeoning damage to Lucius, and you are not prone. Is that what's that from? Uh, from being charged, it being trampled. 25 points of ice Well, damage. it's not an attack, though. Does it say it has to be an attack? But, I mean, he's charging at me. That is kind of attacking. It's very aggressive. I didn't make an attack roll. It's very aggressive, though. <laughs> I didn't make an attack roll. Um, fine, so if I'll... I headbutt him, if I run at him... Yeah, if you run... That's the thing, right? <laughs> if you attack him, it doesn't trigger it. It's <laughs> when they him. physically try and strike you. This guy just runs at you and is trampling you as he goes. You just got it's in like the, the way. And stuff, yeah. <laughs> it was a Lisa and However, it's, like, it's fine because he is about to make an attack against you. So yes. it's going to go off. Uh, he makes a bite attack oh, against you. Um, he is now empowered, however, by one of these dark spirits. Natural 20? Roll natural 20. <gasps> was that a natural 20? Right? Um, Did you just roll a natural 20? Cool. I don't know if you'll let me do this because I didn't say it fast enough. Shadow Martyr? you got to do it before you roll, right? Yeah. You uh, I said I was going to attack. My brain checked out very quickly at the wrong moment. Let's just go back in time for a second. Where the fuck is Shadow Martyr? It is... You can make your echo throw itself in front of an attack directed at another creature that you can see before the attack roll is made. I did say I was about to attack. Yeah, yeah sorry. I... It's, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, you got to, yeah. Answer the question, Mark. Was that a natural 20? It was. Yeah. Mm. Um, yep. Yep. I have to work yep. this out. He's empowered. I, yep. Oh, shit. I, I don't mean, enjoy doing this. I, mean, I could... In, the thing is, is, like, part of me wants to be, like, I want to give Kim the Shadow Martyr thing, 
but I also want the drama of this attack hitting. Jesus. I I didn't say it in time. No, but it's also like it, I I said I was going to attack and then I rolled. Like you didn't have a lot of time Let's to do follow it. Follow the but... rules. Yeah, I, I know, vote. but I hate those. Kind okay, of how about the attack goes off? Yeah, but the charge procs the armor. Well, this of is going to proc the armor of Agathis anyway. Yeah, I get that. Anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're going to get that anyway, and this is going to take out those temporary hit points. And the rest of them. Yeah, probably. I know he's got 45 of them, which is good because it's going to absorb a ton of this damage, but I need to work this out. Got 31 left now. Um, Christ, hang on. How much actual HP have you got? 86. Okay. Oh, you're right. It's all right. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, I'd healing me is nice. Yeah. I don't know how empowered this attack is. It's only the one spirit. I'm going to be absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, we're going to be just. From our perspective, it absorbed a spirit and decapitated Lucius. <laughs> so we're like, these spirits are bad news. <laughs> I just exploded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh oh. How, how many dice are you roll in there, bud? How many max All right. rolls are you getting? Does 4d12 on its bite normally when it is empowered? All of its attacks get increased damage. Bye. In this case, plus 2d12. Oh, that was 6d12 maximized. Maxed. And then I rolled, and I rolled very well. Lucius, you take 123. Oh, I'm oh, down! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Take, is that minus the 45? I'm on temporary. 5 HP! <laughs> temporary, so the temporary hit points basically all go, and then you take the rest. So that oh. you would have taken. So minus 45. Uh, that would have been, what, 123 minus 45. I mean, you did it all on Yeah, you did it on yeah. there, but yeah. It's uh, five HP. Five HP. Let's and I believe it takes 25 points of cold damage. Is that correct? Yeah. I think I think Lucius just tanked the biggest hit. Mm, I think <laughs> he did. So you watch as he goes... Bites down. The armor of Agathis just shatters around you. The flames of Rethra kind of burn the inside of the creature's mouth and sort of protects you. Um, and you, it pierces through. But like Frodo in the Mines of Moria, the, the, uh, the chain of the Stormcaller chain just stops it, like completely crushing you. Oh um, you are grabbed right. in its mouth, unfortunately. You are currently now being held. Um, if, yeah, I'm just going to leave that. You're in its mouth. Um, yeah, fucking hell. Uh, so Huge. charge went off, tail whacked, bite. Yeah, that's 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 it done right. for this turn. Um, fucking hell. All right. That was like I I saw that twenty come up and I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. But he did it. He did it. Um, Mainly the armor of Agatha. NPCs. This thing is Activate. Add my healing. That's the only spirit left. Uh, drawing closer and closer. Uh, yeah, Rethra will basically circle around. He can't move without getting an attack opportunity, so he will just sort of like kind of skirt around. In fact, he's not even going to be able to read mm. uh, These guys are going to chase after the spirit. Uh, Rethra will attack Stonewall. The Sana and Morgane will attack the spirit. And Vanya needs to be called on, so he can't really. He can make a ranged attack, and he will make that ranged attack against. Me. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think he would target the spirits because they know that they're the hunter's weapons can actually affect the spirits. So, uh, Reth deals some damage to Stonemaw. And then the remaining spirit is going to take another 15 points. All right. That is brings us to Lucius. You start in its mouth, Lucius. Uh, its damage is all increased. 31 points of piercing damage, so you go yeah. down. Can get you the same way as it got me. Yeah. Uh, so just holding the two the two squishies in its mouth, it is bitten down. Ugh, there's uh, damage a quill in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that is at the start of your turn, Lucius. Your th turn then ends. You don't make death saving throws because that already happened. And we jump into round eight. Oh boy! Let's see what he's going to do first before Ayla. Uh, uh, yep, so his uh, legendary action this turn, he just did his charge. You begin to see his body heat up. Oh. Oh. He begins to vent heat. Begin to uh, heat up, or it's just... As in, it's, it's now active. active. He is now venting heat. Uh, Ayla. So, is that on every melee attack? she will take the damage. She has fire resistance. She does have fire resistance. For a turn. 
still got it, even Actually, if... no. Lucius' has turn ended, yeah. The fire yeah. resistance is gone. I mean, she's still got, like, 130 hit points. Yeah. It does seem very ayla y to tank damage in order to deal damage, especially in the face of. Well, it's Ayla starts being her turn, so she takes 20 straight off the bat. Because she's on top of the creature. So it could take 60 this turn if I double attack. <laughs> you do? I mean, I know what Quill's going to do on this I'll turn. I'll tell you, like, Ayla has so... 101 hit points left now. What would Ayla do? WWAD. Wide. I think Ayla would try and help Lucius. Yeah. Try and help Lucius. Because like, if Lucius like gets hit too many times, he'll die. All right. Mouth. She jumps off Stonewall's head, grabs Lucius's leg, and rips as she's coming down, and just hopes gravity pulls him out of the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ayla would make an athletics check with advantage. Wait, wait. That's what's happening. She's she's <laughs> jumping she's off the head, and in the process, pulling you out of it, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so plus thirteen, but with advantage. Are you shitting on my face right now? Apparently. You know. Someone has shit on my face. 21. Not enough. Stonewall holds on. Uh, I say that Ayla didn't jump down. She's still on the creature's back. She was trying to pry his open yeah, the doors. Yeah, But she's she's going to have to get away. That would be her action. It's like a dog with a sock. Aggressively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ayla's on the other end trying to yank it out of the mouth. <laughs> um... She'll jump off and try and get away from this thing, I think, um, okay. properly. All right. Where she want to go? Jump um, back. She climbs down, so yeah. she doesn't take yeah, damage. she take damage. Um, I guess... She will take an opportunity. If she goes further than this, she'll take an opportunity attack. She'll if stay... She to 15 feet. Staying there is good, because it's near sentry and not out of range of it. Okay. She just won't attack it this time, yeah. basically, because right. of that thing. Okay. Um, she does... I will point this out. She has a longbow. Can she just use that now? Piercing damage doesn't do any damage yeah. against the armor, so no. But if the armor breaks, she can still attack it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, in that case, we go to Sentry, then it's Quill. All right. I'm going to heal Quill. Lay on hands. Lay on hands the boy. I'm going to give you... Let's do 30. You had two out of three deaths, weren't you? I was. Yeah, because I whacked him on the way. Do you go 30, you hate cheeky little whack. 30. Yeah. Fucking phenomenon. It's better than any dice I've rolled on healing so far, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. So that's your action. That yep. Move um, and bonus. If I... Um, 10, 15, 20, 25... Oh, I can't reach Stonewall's mouth from here, I don't think. Um, can I call to Rethra to get Lucius out of Stonewall's mouth? Mm-hmm. Do so you order Rethra? Does he have... Is he recharged? He's still got a turn left. He's still got a yeah, turn left. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately. Um... Um, Leave everybody but Rethra uh, and Morgane are currently. Morgane has right. two turns and Rethra has, has one. one. So Do Sana Dragon and breath? Barney are both still up. We haven't done Dragon Breath yet. Yeah. You haven't done any Dragon Breath. Although the that, blue, the blue yeah. Dragon won't be effective anymore. It's no. immune, and the Cold Dragon is now resistant to. I think. No, the Cold Dragon hasn't got the resistance yeah, yet. Not yet. Yeah, mm. not yet. Um. God. Um. Is it just blue and red? Blue and uh, white. white. Blue and white. Yeah. So two drops. Yeah, because it's immune to all the other damage types. I'm uh, just. I'm you've just also gonna... got bonus action to use the Vitoculus. Don't forget as well. Oh yeah, I could do that. You do need to do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. Yeah. Yeah. So bonus action for that. Uh huh. Um, do you want to move just before we do that? Yeah, I want to move just close to Stonewall and just try and act as like a distraction. So I like, move like here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So a few turns right. ago, Stormwing was fifty. That was a few turns ago. Eh? You don't know where the others are at currently, but I can tell you this: Sentry. Uh, you see the little Azaria, and she sort of gives you like a sort of like a well done thumbs up uh, as the little thing kind of do, 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 uh, as it goes to uh, thirty percent. Thirty. Oh, okay. Again, you don't know where on that thirty percent that might be. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, that right? That's my turn done. Okay. Yep, uh, and then we go to Quilly. Quilly Quill. Uh, I don't stand up with my movement. I levitate up, <laughs> and I am born anew, and the stomped ground around me, the flowers start to rise. <laughs> Everything seems to 
become whole again because I'm casting level nine mass heal. Mm. Seven hundred healing <laughs> goes out to, to anyone stone. that needs it. Stonemore, I'm delirious. I'm thinking there's a weakened creature. <laughs> All right. How are you dishing out your seven hundred HPs? Well, I'm going to take 119 of that to heal myself to full. All right. Um, which means get your calculators out, because it's time to calculate. Wait, wait. How much do you actually? Can you 700. 700. What? what? 700. Wow. It's a level nine. To spell, anyone man. within 60 feet that wants it. All right. So hang on. 700. You're taking 119 for yourself. So, so I've got, got 581 left. 581 left. Yeah. I thought that was a Tom Joe. No, no. I'm serious. That's how mass heal works. Oh. Seven. Hundred. I think you need to pour a ton of that into Lucius. How much you've one two two is my max. So to take you to max, one hundred and twenty two. Take that from that. You're going to max. Right, so four hundred and fifty nine. Max a million. Yeah. You still have four hundred fifty nine left. Four fifty nine. I'm pretty sure he can basically heal almost every mini to max. That's uh, Ayla is currently missing. 200, uh, 180 hit points, Ayla is missing. How much? One hundred eighty oh. hit points. So that is one hundred and six back to Ayla. So you want 106, okay, 106. 353, three, I Yes, know. I do. What does that make? 353. Three. She's at max. She's not. I She's told not. you how much. What? 160, is. not 106. I told you how much she needs. Oh, I thought you said, sorry, I, <laughs> you I, I know what you did. <laughs> I know exactly what I did. Maximize Ayla. All right, what so another uh, 79. Yeah. 79. Oh, she had way less than I thought. 79, 274. 274 left, what are you on? I'm on 138, so I'm missing 41. Take it off. <laughs> Minus 41. Who else wants it? I'm going to do three, one three. to every NPC to bring their little check mark back up. It's not, it doesn't work like that. I'm you gaming to, it. You have to beat a threshold to get their check marks back up. And to be honest, everyone except Rethra is uh, fine. You've got 233 points left. I need like, what's this? 17? Uh, 20. Yeah, I barely hit. 27. Take it off. <laughs> You're healed. You get a heal. I mean, you, you can just basically, I mean, you can spend the rest of it, but there's nothing, there's nobody really else for you to spend the healing on at this point. Everyone is recharged. Yeah. Everyone is basically. Some of the archers out there who got killed by spirits, yep. yeah. they come back to life. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah, some of them who were like on death's door that got injured, you heal those guys. You watch as Quill, no, no joke, like literally as he comes off the ground, just ream, like winds of magic are flowing off Quill as he like spreads his wings and just is swirling around everybody. You watch his life is restored. Um, probably with like Amazing. an element of like starlight, but then the winds of Hesper and the starlight of Siaska kind of mig mixed together uh, cool. as they Very heal everyone. Cool. That's a Very big move. Cool. He's so happy with himself. Big move. Look, he's so pleased. 700. So big, big heal. You got 206 points left, boy. Anything but left? I'm going to put the rest of the 206 into myself. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't do, do it has no effect. Uh, anything else, Cole? No. So half move to stand <laughs> up, I'm assuming. <laughs> no, I think I'm done. Um, if I'm out of its range, I'm going to fly further away. Okay. And get to back Higher than 20 feet away. Well, your oh, movement I mean, is limited because you were thingy, so you're oh. 25 feet. I'll just. Can I just fly 25 feet along the ground then? <laughs> oh, okay. Rather than up. Yeah. I don't want to get into mouth height again. That was a bad mistake. Okay. You're there. All right. After Quill, it's Nova. How um, fucked up is his head looking? I'm pretty. The armor is close to snapping. The armor is real close to breaking. <sighs> okay. I'm going to give a go with. Um... Dope. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. um, so, just checking. That is a D20 and a D10. Yeah, okay. 16, uh, 27 to hit. 27 will hit the head. Um, so, because he has Hexblade Curse on him, that is 11 plus 5 you points watch of damage. As the blast from Eldritch Blast breaks the last piece of armor. Oh, yes! It just snaps the remaining armor that was there. Nice. Uh, nice staggering job. it, causing uh, Stonewall to be dazed. Does Lucius fall out of his mouth? No, unfortunately not. It's the day. It's not like it's like unconscious. The dazed is more like... <coughs> oh, it's like a sniss. It's like a sniss. It sneezes. It was so sudden. I was just, it came on. I was like, I, I, need, I need to sneeze. I can't not. Um... <laughs> Uh, no, the unfortunately, it's like it, it's kind of like its eyes are swollen, but it's not enough. It's still <laughs> conscious enough to hold on to Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> but the armor does break. Um, I will keep. Damn it! Don't put that on TikTok. My sneezing. 
<laughs> I am you the one that keep going to ask that. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll keep blasting. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll keep going for him. Yeah, so this will now be all against its actual main body hit points. Okay, so... Okay. That is... Oh, 18 plus uh, 11 to hit. So That's hit. Lots. Yep, hits. Um, 11, 16 points of damage. Uh, 26 to hit. Yes, hits. Uh, 11 plus 9 is 20 points of damage. 1, 2, 3, that's the third beam. Last beam. Oh, it would have been a crit. Um, 14 to hit. As in the total 14? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately does not. Still, it's a tough and hide is still yeah. enough to reflect that one back. That is my action and then bonus action i'm gonna yeah i was gonna say movement and bonus action do you want the echo to start moving up um yeah if echo could move 30 feet 30. and if i could zip uh so i've still got i can bonus action misty yeah. step mm -hmm. um with my misty step and movement can i get to where this rock is mm -hmm. On this side. Yeah, on, on, yeah, so a little bit of cover maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. All right, okay. And then that's me. All righty. Uh, that was Nova's turn. At the beginning of Stonemore's turn, you can see now Stonemore is very badly hurt. You can see blood pouring from its various wounds, kind of staggering around, um, not quite sure of, of everything that's fully going on. Uh, as it has now lost armor in all three locations, it recharges all of its abilities. Uh, all of its <laughs> recharge abilities <laughs> automatically recharge, um, and it will turn its attack. Uh, it will uh, also, it is still day, so it only gets to make one attack this turn, um, but it does recharge all of its abilities. Can I shout, like, as I finish, like, um, remember, we need to kill it at the same time as everyone else. Yeah. You absolutely can do that. Can uh, I get Vanya to attack, or is that coming? Um, did you have a bonus action left? No, I didn't. Then you cannot. It's a bonus action. Or it's part of your action to do it. It's, it's one of your attacks you would have called Varnia to do it. Okay, I was just going to ask him to attack, which I don't know if that's the same. No, it's sorry, it's I'm, using I'm... their ability is different to just attacking. Yeah. Varnia is attacking it as often as they can. If you want him to attack that instead of the spirit, he'll attack Stonewall. So, okay. uh, Stonewall's go. Uh, he currently has Lucius in his mouth. He is pretty stunned. I, the natural thing this predator would do is chomp down on Lucius. It has him in his mouth. It's injured. Hang. It makes an automatic bite attack against you. It counts as two, 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 two death saving throws. Nope. He, no, because he's uh, healed. I mean, he's healed. One, two, two. You're right. So it makes an attack against you with advantage. Uh, another crit. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can you imagine? Uh, that is still, however, going to be... It wasn't great because I rolled bad on both rolls, oh, no. but it's still going to be uh, 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. So that's AC, not damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, Jesus, these damage rolls. These D12s are doing me some work, I'll tell you that. So... Stand down, D12s. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> You've done enough. Five. Three. Good D12. Nine. Never leaves a crib behind. 58 points of piercing damage as <coughs> size of bites down, and you are still restrained. 64. Nice. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nintendo 64. Nice. Nintendo 64. The abilities are recharged, but it is dazed. At the end of its turn, its dazed condition is going to go, but we move to the NPCs. Um, these two are going to attack this spirit, trying to like lock it down. Uh, but I think the spirit is actually going to reach Stonewall before they no. can kill it. Yeah, they can't actually do enough damage, so they kind of... It, <laughs> Stonewall gets impowered again. These two instead, uh, Sana and Morgane will move into close combat range. Reth will move into close combat range. Um, and all of the NPCs are basically going to make their normal attacks against this thing, uh, which will do... Uh, it's currently weakened because its armor has been broken, so that's going to be uh, 10, 40 points of damage. Very good. Sizable. Uh, the that was the last remaining spirit, but you can see now that as that second spirit becomes absorbed, it's like Stonewall's muscles almost kind of boom, they like thump and you know in swell and engorge. Uh, it's like 
spikes seem to become serrated and fanged, and it now looks even more deadly and dangerous. Uh, Lucius. Hiya, sorry if this is a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're below 30%. Can we get an update from you? Uh, yes, this is at the end of that round. So this Yes, like, I could be on hold. Uh, Danica will say, both both of us are at 30, but we're at 30. Can you do it in a round? Unlikely. Two rounds. That's more likely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. All right. How do I hang up? Oh. No, you hang up. <laughs> All right, so that's in bonus action. Bonus action for Lucius. Uh, use the main thing. action, level seven, armor of Agathis. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why why, if you're in its mouth, just like, hey, <laughs> it's like making a bubble boy armor suit of ice. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to annoy it by like, just being in its kicking mouth. Kicking its tongue and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. agitating it. Yeah, yeah, it does not like having you create this freezing cold aura in its mouth. It hates it. Yeah. Lovely, love it. Uh, it doesn't move. Oh, uh, Stonewall just had its turn, so its armor would have regenerated. Oh, really? oh no, 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 who broke the armor? Me. Nova. It was Nova, so it's at the start of Nova's turn. Sorry, I'm getting confused with things. Um, um, and I've used my bonus action, so I can't call in support. Okay, yeah, no, you've used your bonus action, so that's Lucius, you done. And everyone's on 30%, all bosses. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, Lucius, it did start venting heat. Take another 20 points of fire damage as well, please. Is that pre or post? Armor of Agathist. That was before you cast Armor of Agathist. It would have been at the start of your turn, which is it. And also, you were in its mouth at the start of your turn. Sorry, you've got to take some more damage as well. Is it 25 for fire? Uh, no, it's 20 points of fire damage, but also you have to take more damage from being in its mouth as well. Um, 11, 13, 20 more points of piercing damage. That was before Armor of Agathist. God damn, I'm glad I put that on. Yeah. Yeah, so, like being in this thing's mouth is really I, bad. It's not, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. No, me neither. At the top of a brand new round, you guys are now on round nine. You certainly are. Um, Retro is back. More games still got a round to go. Maybe you've got everybody else. Don't forget, like some of these guys, like Santa did a ton of damage and stuff like that as well. So make use of them because they are there to help you. Um, at the start of the turn, uh, the Stonewall continues to vent heat for another oh. round, is uh, what they do at like, the Could I have direction. shouted to everyone? Two rounds. Okay, yeah. Well, two, 12 mean? seconds. 12 seconds. <laughs> uh, uh, and then it's Ayla. Ayla up. Two hits each. <laughs> is there a way? Yes. For Ayla to delay armor regrowth. <laughs> no. Okay. Not just it like... Is, it's armor is it's currently vulnerable. What if mm. you put herself in the fleshy bit and yeah. just got in the way I, of... If you want to try something like that, I mean, you can certainly try. And it grows... I mean, yeah, yeah that's... It, it, if it's like growing back... Yeah? Just finding the bit that's about to protrude and cover the area and just hold it back. <laughs> um, Maybe. Depends how it grows, I guess. Because I feel like if Ayla goes in now and hits it super hard and the armor regrows, it's going to be really tough for us to kill it at the same time as everyone else. Unless we delay the armor thing and then go nuts. Yeah. It doesn't have to be precisely the same time as everybody else, but it has to be very, like, you have within to, you can't, like, rounds. yeah, you have to basically do it within, like, a round two rounds, basically. Um, it doesn't have to be the, because there's no way for you to really know exactly when that's going to be, but it has to be pretty damn close. Yeah. Like, like if you leave it too long, there will it will carry over. Bear in mind, it's going to be Ayla, you, and Sentry who has attacks before it regrows. Yeah. It's not all of us. True. Um, all right, in that case, she's going to attack as best she can, but to get to the head, she has to climb it. Um, May I so, suggest, as a bonus action, you get one of the um, NPCs to do one of their... Oh, well. NPCs. Yeah. Well, it? it depends on which one. So Morgane and Sanus have to be used instead of an attack. So if you make the attack action uh, in place of one of your attacks, they make an attack. Um, but they get to do you know cool damage basically. Um, to climb up on Stonemore is an athletics check. Do you have to climb up on him to to, to get the head? To get yes. Head, yeah. If you want to go for the body, then anywhere else. But currently, the head is what's exposed. Well, I'll try an athletics check. If if she gets up to the head, she'll do one whack, then maybe Sana. Okay. Um, yep. So, athletics. With advantage, because she's raging. With advantage. Run up the tail, try to get to the head. 12 plus 13. 13. 25 is enough. So, yeah, Ayla jumps up, <laughs> runs up the tail, avoids those flamey bits. I mean, no, she touches them. She takes 20 points of fire damage. Well, venting still, heat, still takes the 20, but she's at 286 now. She's max, yeah, so. Then brings the hammer down, 
onto the Reckless. fleshy dome recklessly. All right, for the first one, she takes another 20 points of fire damage, but I'll just do that now. Yep. Um, that is... Ooh, not incredible. That's probably enough, though, actually. 8 plus 13, 15? 23? 23 is enough in its weakened armor state, yes. With its armor broken, that is enough. So, how many d10s? Just the normal. 1d10. 1d10. Plus 13. 10 plus 13. 23. 23. Uh, um, and then the second part of her, act, her attack will be to call on Sana for that. Right. Yeah, so uh, she needs to make another athletics check to help Sana. Uh, this is DC 15. DC 15. 10 plus. Easy. Uh, 10 plus 13. Again, like Ayla's like, hey, do it again! And like throws her hand out. Uh, Sana's like, got it! Runs up, like poof, poof, bounces off the rock and then Stonewall's thigh. Grabs onto Ayla's up hand. By Ayla. <laughs> yeah. Ayla throws her up in the air. Lunar axe kick. <laughs> Comes smashing down. Forty points of damage. Nice. Um. <laughs> Slamming down on the top of uh, off of the top of his head. Um, you see, it almost kind of stuns the creature as well, reeling it as it takes this massive blow to the forehead. Um, and try and stay up on the on the on the. Head and that is. Uh, she doesn't need to do anything for that. It, on yeah. his turn, he tries to shake her yeah. off. Yeah, so. but that's that's that's, that's Ayla. Ayla's done. Yeah, Ayla's turn. Do you want to roll for Sanna's? Oh, Sanna's. Oh yeah, one d one d three plus one. That is a six, so, so three plus rounds. one. I'm done. Not so good at those rolls. Sent we. Um, then Quill. Sanna's basically out now for the rest of the yeah yeah yeah, yeah thing. Well, I mean, she, they'll up. still chip damage while she's present. So yeah. Uh, that will say I will mark off a, a checkbox for Santa because she took damage from being uh, from touching Stonewall. Yeah. Oh, of course you. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm, I'm going to call the refra to get Lucius this turn. He's back. Okay. Yep. Um, and then can I move? 5, 10, 15. Can I move 20 feet up to the tree? And if I use the rest of my movement, can I climb up the tree so I'm like level? With yeah. Stonewall. I mean, you are large and Starbreaker has reach. So, I could so I'd say ahead. you don't need to climb the tree because cool. you've already got like your, you know, plus five, six mm. feet. Then Starbreaker has like a, a 10 foot reach as well. I'd say you with an enlarged form are okay. With, you know, I you can strike it from the ground. Large century. I mean, if you, for flavor, if you want to still climb the tree, I'd say that, yeah. You just like, stand on the tree. You don't need to make a change. Just... It's more like you put your foot on the top of the tree and like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Um, and I'll make two attacks against Alrighty. Stonewall. I just do standard attacks because my radiant damage it's resistant against now. Okay. Uh... And don't forget, the armor, like, you can still do damage to Stonewall even if the armor is not broken, depending on the type of damage you do as well. Most likely ice. 20 doesn't uh, hit. It currently does not have any resistance to cold damage. Yeah, ice um, and cold. Does ice go through armor? It does. Cool. Yep. So does um, Necrotic. None of you have dealt necrotic damage yet. We don't got none. Just in case. Touch him with your bone hand. Oh, I could have done it, but a bone. It's yeah. gone, yeah. isn't it? All right, well, sentry. So uh, I know. So <laughs> Attack wall. To 20 to hit. Yeah. Uh, is unfortunately no. not enough. It's 21 with its broken armor. 19 plus 13. That is going to hit. Sick. All right, let's just do 2d12. And for this one, just give it to me all as one damage total, because cool. right now uh, it is... Actually, no, it is resistant to radiant, so I do need the damage separated. OK. Um, cool. So 2d8 radiant to standard. Come here. Blup. Alrighty. So, force damage is 16. 16 points of force damage. And then I got two sixes. No, I got an eight and a six for my radiant damage. Uh, sorry? Uh, eight and six. Was that eight? 16. 14 radiant. So seven points of radiant. And then the d4 is three. Hang on, just give me one second. What was the D4? D4 is three. Three points. And then my bonus is seven. Plus seven. Yeah. Okay. Totaled all it up. So poof, the lance strikes through. Stonewall looks very badly hurt. Blood is just dripping out as Starbreaker pierces through into its neck where its armor plating is broken away. You pull the lance free, this just gallons of this black congealed thick blood begin gushing out. You can see it's almost swaying, like it's uh, like it's becoming lightheaded. 
just kind of staggering around. It looks pretty rough. Anything else, Sentry, in your turn? Um, I've done my bonus actions, yep. so I am good for this turn. Thank you. Will. Um, does a thingy, thingy, thingy refer a go to uh, on, on his, on his turn, turn? He'll do yeah. it. Yeah. On his turn, he'll rescue Lucius. He's um resistant to radium right now, isn't he? He is not immune. Yes. I will. Uh, which is all of my spells are either lightning or radiant. Uh huh. Um, but I will just do a sacred flame on him. All right. It's probably my best oh. damage for free. 18. 22 he needs. Yep. Uh, that is an additional 23 points of damage. So half that, so 22, half it is 11. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, Bonus action, I will healing word Lucius okay. at fifth level, uh, which is like a million health you get back just straight away. One million. One million. I never use healing word normally. 1d4, 2d4, 3d4, 4d4, 5d4, plus six. So you get 16 healing. That's not bad. All right. It's like, yeah. For D4. Done? I'm done. Nova Vija. It looks real bad, right? I feel, I, I kind of don't want to attack it because I feel like I could really fuck the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> don't know. It does look bad. But difficult to say, this creature has taken such its, its vitality, its, its stamina, its endurance. It, it, this is a, a terrible creature. Um, I'm just going to get to the end of the I'm round. I'm kind of too scared to attack it because I feel like if I do, especially with three attacks, like I could kill it before everyone else. I'm I mean, we could like hold off until yeah. Sentry. Everyone holds an action. But wouldn't the action. <laughs> if it gets to a brand new turn, like yeah. if it gets to your so turn okay. again, you lose the held action. There's no point. Just hold off. I'm going to, I'm not going to attack this yeah. turn. Um, don't forget, Rethra, if, if you don't have any action, you can always take the dodge action, which means any attacks against you have disadvantage. Yeah. Rethra yeah. is going to... Um, yep, yeah. he's going to try and grab yeah. Lucius. Because I can't, I have one more charge of Vortex Warp, mm -hmm. so I can get Lucius out. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Sentry did command Rethra to do it, so literally but after Stonemore's turn, Rethra will do it. do it. Yes, but it would be after uh, Stonemore goes. So Stonemore will have a turn first. I'm going to get take. Lucius out because right. I think seeing this thing at Chomp yeah, is sure. real bad. Yeah, go so for it. I'm going to use my turn um, to cast my last charge of Vortex Wall. All right. I can move him 90 foot, so I will put him next to Quill. Well, Lucius, do you want to willingly save yeah. or do you want to resist? <laughs> yeah, I want to save. Wait, save and resist. You do, you, as in, do you want your... to fail it willingly? I want to fail. Okay, yeah. all right. So where do you want to put Lucius? Next to Quill. Next to Quill? Mm -hmm. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> right. um, so that's your action? That's my action. Um, I'd like to move um, my Echo, um, echo further uh, up to, closer to the stone wall. Yeah, gets right next to him. And that's going to be me, I You're think. You're just going to keep hiding around the rock? Yeah. All right, done? Yeah. All right. We're going to go to the end of this round, and then we're gonna, yeah. that's when we're going to wrap the episode. Uh, oh, he's so close. Stone Moor's yeah. turn. I did say he recharged all of his abilities. Yep. First thing he's going to do is try and throw Ayla off his back. Can Ayla make an acrobatics check, please? Uh, ac this is very important. Acrobatics is a 17 plus 5, 22. It's not enough. Shit! DC 24. Shit! Throws her behind him on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. Turns around. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and just spews acid in a cone, striking the Echo, Ayla, Morgane, Sana, Lucius, and Quill. Oh, my. I need dexterity saving throws God. from all y'all. Um, if Ayla's proned after being thrown off. Uh, let me check what prone does to dex saving throws. Uh, the Quill, dex saving. Uh, no, no, no effect. Just she makes the save as normal. She has advantage as well. That's good. Okay. Advantage as well. Nice. 
Mm, the dichotomy returns. Okay. Oh, okay. So what, deck save? Deck saving throws, please. And you do still have resistance, Lucius. So. I do, yeah. I was just trying to see if I could yeah. give someone some else funky stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah. 18. Not enough? 20. Uh, on the echo. Oh, for the echo. I mean, yeah. it, it fails. Yeah, <laughs> it was going to yeah. die anyway. Well, uh, no, if it, actually, yeah. No, it takes one, it takes half. Uh, I rolled Quill? Anyway. Uh, seven. For Quill. And then for Ayla? 21. All fail. Uh, everyone fails. Uh, it has been empowered as well. I forgot about this. By all of them. Right? Uh, no, it's been empowered twice, so it basically yeah. adds oh. four dice to them. every attack. Oh. Uh, so this is, bear with me. Spicy. How are you looking, Lucius? Acidic. <laughs> right? Melty. Three, six. I got my armor pack at this. I didn't maximize my healing. I panicked for a second there. I thought he only had 30. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah? I, 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 Chilling out I mean, he's going to roll a lot of dice. I think it's only maybe Lucius that's in trub. I could get basically a tank. Around. Oh god. <laughs> High level dindy man. Calculatrice. You tanked him before. One more time. Exactly. Easy peasy. One more time. Like I said before, nothing bad is gonna happen. I did that last episode. When I did it, everyone started rolling 20s. <clears throat> Everybody but Lucius. 99 points of acid damage. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 45, 47, Jesus. I think. Uh, 99. I don't uh, take I'll anything, do though. I'll do right? No, your echo okay. gets wiped out, but yeah. you're fine. Well, Echo's a fragile little child. <laughs> One HP. Um, yeah. As, yeah, just... <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, it, it threw Ayla off. That replaces its tail attack, and then it's going to try and chomp. Um, and it's going to chomp probably Ayla because they're prone in front of it. Yeah. Uh, not a natural 20, but definitely still enough. That's a 30 to hit. Yep. Uh, and this is going to be 8d12 now. Bugger. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, i got to do this. i got to get a calculator out again. <laughs> 12, 12. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is not... Super exciting, but no, no it's, it's a lot. Of I mean, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't want to be in the room when Ayla dies. Sixty-eight points of damage, but she does half it. She does half it because she's raging. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he heard it. 30, he's gone into hiding. Thirty-four points of damage. Thirty-four points 34. of damage. Thirty-four. That's not too bad. That's she's not fine. She's fine. She's, she's fine. You healed her for like one hundred eighty hit points. Yeah. I'm sure Kate's gonna be fine with it. She's at max, mate. Right. He's, he's gone. He's, he's left gone. Left. He's gone. He's left the country. I really wish he didn't do that. He's left the country. So that was the bite, that was the acid reflux, that was the tail, that was everything. NPCs, uh, Santa and Morgana down. Uh, okay. yeah. the, the 99 damage is going to knock those guys out. Echo's gone, those guys are down. Uh, Rethra and, and uh, that are just going to do a little bit of chip damage, but it's not much. Um, Where is this called? Oh, for Lucius. I'm going to call up. Okay. Hiya! Um, we've really got on its last leg, so any moment now it's going to pop. Danica is just like, the same for us, uh, uh, about 10% of its vitality left, but I think the others are still a little bit behind, they're at 20. All right, we'll try and hold off for one Just, round. Just a few more seconds and then deliver the finishing blow. Let's say but six. Six seconds, yes, all right. <laughs> Perfect. Let's hope that the others are, are quick enough. Okay, bye. 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 And with that, that's where we're going to end today's oh, session because we're oy. running late. I'd love to go a bit like, but I think that there's enough of this where it's not going to be like a 15 minute thing. This could be like a 20 minute thing. So yeah, fair uh, 20, enough. 25 minute thing. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I I would go, but I know we've got Sam, and I don't want to. No, that's unless cool. unless we have a full party, I'm like yeah. looking at the rest of you guys. I'm like, we are, we still, are we still going? I don't All right, think that's fair. Uh, yeah, that's Kate's fair. Not here yeah, that's Kate's week. not here. Kate's not here next next week. No. I've told Ted to watch the stream. Okay. <laughs> Come get me when it's over, babe. Hey. <laughs> Sam, is is that okay with you if we go a little bit longer? Keep going if you want. 
I think we just got the okay from Sam. Okay, Sen. he's already right. gone. He's okay. already gone. going longer. We're going. I think it can. Fair It might be another 20 minutes, but I think it's worth doing because we're very close now. I need a piss. And yeah, you go. Yeah, if that's where I went. <laughs> yeah. I've done my round. Uh, you've done your round, so it's fine. Um, all right, we're going to keep going Extended then. Extended stream. Extended stream. We don't do this very often. Exclusive to Patreon. No, it's not. Right. Uh, yeah, Kate's not here, actually. Yeah, Kate's not here, so it, it, doesn't, it wouldn't matter if we, we delayed it anyway. Uh, all right, in that case, uh, if you Text told... The hubby, I was so going to say, it's like, because I know that you've got a... No, he knows. Good. Okay. All, all right. In that case, at the top of the round, it's a brand new round. Uh, the, uh, the tail of uh, Stonemore does rise up again, uh, kind of threatening to slam it down in a shock-waving like, pulse. Who's going to um, be threatened by that? Well, it hits in an area around it's it, but it's behind it creates like a, a cone attack as well. Yeah. But it does affect anybody around Stonemore. Uh, oh, okay. Um, oh, it does a spin. It kind of does, it slams the ground, which causes all the earth to like churn up around it, but it so hits like a cone of force behind Luba it as well. And so me, yeah. Um, cool? And then it is Ayla. Yeah. Does does the st rock save me from that? No. Nope. Rock. It might cause more damage as the if the rock blows up. Oh, sorry, it's telegraphing. Yeah, Got yeah, it. yeah. It doesn't happen right now. It's like yeah. raising its tail up, and yeah. it, it you don't know exactly when it's going to come slamming down. And just last question from me. Yeah. Has the plating regrown on his head? Uh, yes, because it's it's you broke it, right? So yeah. So, so the plating is now regrown on its head. So. When we attack it now, it's back to plate boy damage. It is. If don't forget, there are some damage types that will go through. So at the moment, it's cold and necrotic. But those not are two types that you know will work. Yeah. Not radiant though. Radiant is resistant to. It's resistant currently. to. It. Nice. All right, okay. Ayla. Uh, is she in its mouth? Uh, uh, she got bit, so yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, she did get bit, so she is currently in mouth. So it has disadvantage to attack him? Yes. Disadvantage on all attacks. <laughs> what was that? Oh, <laughs> his hand's cold and wet and he just touched me. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, no, so uh, Sorry, Ayla is restrained. <laughs> she has disadvantage on all attacks. Um, at the start of her turn, uh, she Yuck. takes uh, some damage. Yeah, you're going to have to do that oh, for uh, me. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to sort that out because I've got to roll it as well. Uh, so that's going to be 14. You're a monster. Uh, oh my god. 14, 24, 35, 43, halved is 21, which I will now apply. Okay. Um, if she has disadvantage and she reckless, ah, she just neutralize. Just here, like, ah. Does it neutralize if she recklessly. It would make it a normal roll. A normal roll. I mean, that's... But don't forget, then it would have advantage on the attacks against her. Mm hmm. It's up to you. I like Reckless. I know Katie doesn't, but Ayla's going to go Reckless. Okay, <laughs> that's what you're going to do? Yeah, um, just recklessly swing the hammer inside its mouth. So going for the head? Yeah. Okay. Rattle those teeth. Rattle the teeth. <laughs> all right. Sort of bash all the teeth in, play them okay. like a xylophone. That was just a regular roll. It is. Um, so that is 16 plus 15. 31 is a hit. That's a hit. Um, so a d10. That's one called smash hit. Plus. Oh 15, my god. 13. So that's a six on the roll plus. Uh, 13. 13, yeah. Yep, so 19. 19 <coughs> points to the armor on the head. Uh, the second roll, six plus 15, so 21. It's not enough. Not enough. Um, Bounces off the reinforced armor. That one plays a dud note. All right. The song is ruined. Anything else? Dead tooth. Dead tooth. Uh, that's, I mean, I think she's enjoying herself. All right, century. Mm, I'm going to look at its power level first before I do anything. Uh, the little Azaria is like blushing and super excited because <laughs> it shows between the naught and the one. Oh, oh shit! Ten percent or less. Oh, I'll relay it to the team. But we're ten percent or less. Um, we just have to hold for one. Oh, six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Sentry's going to um, skirt around to the prone party at the front mm -hmm. of the Well, these guys are unconscious. Oh, they're, oh, they're unconscious? They are. They got that acid wiped them out. Shit. All right, I'll heal. Is that Morgane? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do some... Do some... Uh, lay on hands on Morgane. Let's see, I'll do, like, 20. All right, that's enough for one. Lay on hands. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Lay on hands. All right. And I've done my bonus action and move, so that's me done for now. Thank you. All right. That's all you good? That's all I'm good. All right. That's all I'm good. Well, that's all I'm good. <laughs> that's, that is all. Uh, that is Morgane all is now within five feet, so her power can be used. And it just requires an attack roll. So even like a spell, like a chromatic orb or something, can trigger on Morgane's attack as well. I mean... But, as Sentry just pointed out, you are currently at 10% or less. We're in smidge territory. You're in smidge territory. Lucius is basically just waiting for the call, right? He's just had it, and it was like six seconds. Six, like hold for six seconds. They're on ten percent as well. Yeah. So Danica's team. So the Stormwing team team is on ten percent as well. The other team is on twenty percent. Yeah. They need more. Right. So we need to get to one more turn. Just. I know. We decide this round. It That's for you to decide. Okay. I feel like it needs to survive this round at least. Um, but you also probably want to set yourselves up, right? Like you want to break its armor or whatever, so you can get the punch in. Uh, okay, I'm going to cast something really cool. Okay. Super cool? Yeah, no, what it's... What is it? it um, well, <laughs> I need to describe it first. No, I'd like you to tell me now. One of the description... We're already over time. ...is Quill starts to, like, look around oh, and he... I know. He's going to bless Lucius. All right, so you cast the bless spell. Just on Lucius. <laughs> and also, uh, it, what's the range on it? 30 meters, Sentry, Yo. Yep. and Ayla. D4, right? Thanks. Just an extra D4. Yep. Oh, lovely. On attack rolls and saving throws. That's right. Hey, right. that's my... Dude, a D4 can make a huge difference. Yeah. That can turn a miss into a hit. I believe, I believe. I All believe. right, so I one blessed spell. Anything else, Quill? No. Nova Vija. He's immune to piercing, isn't he? Slashing and piercing. Whilst the armor is up, yes. So I can't really do anything but Eldritch Blast. Um, she started, Ayla started hitting his head, didn't she? Yes, she did. Okay, I will keep uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Blasting, blasting the, head. the head. All right. The AC yeah. is increased now because it has been destroyed once. 16 to hit. It's not enough. Did you get blessed? No. 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 21 to hit. It's not enough. I don't think Nova was in range of me. No. no. Just not. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, man, that sucks. Unfortunately, the new armor plating just. Oh. Is this the incarnate? Uh, oh, no. 18. No. Plus uh, 11. Oh. 29. 29 hits. Um, 11 points plus 4 is 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage. Uh, I will also summon the echo again. Mm hmm. Uh, within 30 foot of me, I'm just gonna keep them kind of out of range. No, 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 out. No, 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 this way, this way. like. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, you put, you put where you are. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, anything else over on your turn? Oh, I need to move, because it's gonna fucking tail blast me. Oh, yeah. So, um, I will move uh, 30 feet, well, not 30, but I'm gonna just move next to me, Echo. Okay. And out of the tail. Yep. Uh, is that out of the tail? You don't know. Maybe. You go where you think you're going to be safe. Five, and then I'll tell 10, you. 15, 20. <laughs> All right. You done? I'm done. All right. So it's our turn. The tail comes smashing down at the start of it. Uh, striking any creature within reach of 15 feet is going to make a tail attack against. So Rethra, Sentry, the unconscious Sana, and Morgane. Oh, no. Um, so I'll do the attack against the PC first, because that's what matters, uh, mainly. I know you guys care about NPCs, but I don't. <laughs> let them die. But she's a bunny girl. Uh, like that's going to be a 24 to hit you, Sentry. Yeah. Uh, it's got increased damage because it's been empowered by the spirits. So this is going to be... Forty-four points of bludgeoning damage, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving, nice. I think I've got advantage while I'm big. Let me just double check. On because uh, of enlarge, strength, yeah. I believe you get an extra D four to them. Um, target also has advantage to strength oh. checks and strength saving throws. There you go. So you have advantage. Sick. Nice. Blip. Five. Love that. Five again! Wow, beautiful. So Thirteen total. You are pushed back fifteen feet. Bye. And you Push are not thrown as it slams against you. Uh, 
Morgane is just barely standing, uh, but is actually no, because you only had one checkbox. So would uh, Rethra is up, Morgane goes down again, Sanna is, the shockwave hits Sanna, and you just see her body kind of twist in an awkward way. Oh no. <laughs> Not Sanna, of, of all of them. She's one of the OGs. Knocked away. Whether she's alive or not, you don't know, but you it did not look good. Oh, shit. Um, uh, that was at the beginning of Stonewall's turn because of the legendary action. Uh, on its turn itself, it's going to chomp down on Ayla. Yeah. Uh, that's going to 100% hit. Um, uh, oh, my God, Jesus, these damage rolls. <laughs> I mean, she's still sad. At- Truckload of health, Ayla. And she does have resistance to this. It's just making sure rage carries on. 61, half to 30. She is not at a truckload of health. She is not. Hmm. I mean, this this is, you are facing now at its most powerful, dangerous form. Um, that was its bite attack, it's used its legendary action. Uh, it is going to move to engage. Sentry Quill and uh, Sentry, and then it's going to unleash its Lightning Aura. I need all of you to make Dexterity saving throws. Cool. Shit. Including right. Ayla? Include Ayla, yep. Fail. In fact, Ayla, I think, automatically fails. No, she doesn't fail. But is she, does she not have resistance to Lightning? She does, she does have yeah. resistance, yeah. yeah. Oh, but we all get a bonus from Sentry. Yeah, you'll get plus three. Yep. Do I auto fail because I'm prone? No. No. You make it normally. I think, um, Ayla. Why are you natural 20-ing now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Ayla has disadvantage on the deck saving throw, but she has advantage because of danger sense, so it's just a flat roll for Ayla. Okay. Uh, so what do we get? Lol. I got 24, nat 20. 24 just succeeds, so you're going to take half damage. Quill. Uh, I got uh, 22. It's fail, unfortunately. Uh, Ayla gets 25. 25, she succeeds. going to take half damage and then half again because of resistance. Uh, Lucius. 10. 10. I'm gonna fail as well. That, I hate that, that noise. Sound great. No, that that um, oh, horrible sound. He just dropped his dice bag, right? Mm. Yeah. Just, that wasn't a damage roll. Two. Yeah. That was just. Just casual. Just casual. Dice roll. Just cash. Forty-five points of lightning damage. So forty-five points of lightning damage. Those of you who took half, it would be twenty-two, and then Ayla will take eleven. <sighs> I'm Ooh. down. You're down. <gasps> I've got five HP. Uh, <laughs> Jesus! You watch as Morgane is also, uh, the lightning rips through her body and, like, spasms and twitches, and you see her just, the skin begin to smolder. Oh, God. Uh, that is Stonewall's go. <sighs> Rethra, the only currently still standing NPC, is going to stand up. These will go away. Okay. That's nice. And he's just going to try and get as close to the battle as he can to try and be useful uh, where, when called upon. Um, that is unfortunately the only NPCs that can really take a go. Vanya will take a shot, but it's only going to do a little bit of chip damage. Mm. But new round. End of the six seconds, Lucius. Right? Oh, yeah. If you are unconscious, I need a death saving throw. We get a natural 20 here. It's at the start of your turn, so you get to act. 17. 17, so success. Success. Top of a brand new round. This is your round 10. So we need to bring it down now. Yeah. Well. Well. First things first. Stonewall's <laughs> legendary action. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I forgot I had them. It's going to look towards Nova Vigia. <laughs> Prepare a charge. It's like you're wearing red. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't like blue. Yeah. At the start of Ayla's turn, she takes damage being in its mouth. Oh god, what's her health at now? Uh, she's at... Uh, she's at 51. Whoa. God, he dealt out a truckload of damage yeah, since that, that heal. That was tons. You guys are high level. No, I know. It's, it's impressive. You know 52 what? 52 points, so half that to 26. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus my God. Christ. You're in danger, Tom. Yeah. Don't, because like, those spirits empower all of its attacks, and when it's in the mouth, you just automatically take damage at the start of your turn. Um, Ayla's close. So Ayla's turn begins now. 
Uh, but this is the turn, like the six seconds have gone now, right? I mean, this is if uh, since the Lucius, like as far as Lucius is concerned, you think that this is the turn that, like, the last thing he said is like now is like this basically is what Lucius says. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like he said like a few set like six seconds ago. He was like uh, once six seconds apart. Like that's when we go. Yeah, he I mean, give you those I don't instructions. Think Ayla cares or even can hear him. She's screaming and raging and swinging and whacking. All right. Uh, inside that mouth of his. So that mouth. Uh, recklessly. Um, 13 plus 15. Uh, don't forget that would have been disadvantage, only the first roll would have counted. Oh, re roll it. No, that's fine. 12 plus 15, so 27. Just hits the armor. Okay. Because remember, the armor gets upgraded every time it gets broken. Yeah. Um, this is a normal hit. So that's uh, 9 plus 13. Uh, 22. Uh, 22 points. The next attack is 16 plus 15, so that'll hit as well. Yep. For 7 plus that 20 damage. 20 points of damage. The armor, big cracks in it, but not quite broken just yet. Oh. It's Ayla just like slamming it into the mouth as she's being held. Um, And yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. That's 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 Ayla, I think. All right. Sentry. She could break um, out, but she's. I know. I think she knows it's. Well, close. it's an action to break out, so yeah. it's either attack or break out. I'm gonna stand up from prone. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I pull you the tree knock down. Over the trees. <laughs> oh, no more rage, breaking them down. You kind of pull yourself up. You see your your wounded allies on the ground. Ayla like bleeding. Like Ayla is like yeah. punctured. Like you know, blood pouring from Stonewall's Jesus. mouth. Um, Lucius um, is currently unconscious. Um, okay. Um, with my half movement, can I get to Lucius? Uh, you could go 5, 10, 15. Yes, you can. Nice. All right, I'm going to heal Lucius. I'll use the last of my lay on hands. So it's 45. 45 points to Lucius. Very cool. So you've got everything, everything I've got. Lucius might be your last chance to finish this guy off as well. Yeah. Because he is the last one to act. Don't finish. have all 45 away. I have to. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anything else, Sentry? Um, can I bonus action get Rethra to get Ayla out? Of okay. Yep. You order Rethra and he's like, on it. Um, and that's, that's my turn, all yeah. Right. Quill. Um, okay. I'm going to try and break through its armor. Not break through its armor, but do an attack that will go through armor. Mm -hmm. uh, with a <laughs> whirlwind would be pretty fun. <laughs> but where I am now, I'm going to sunbeam. Yes. Uh, it. Wait, no, sunbeam. Sunbeam's radiant. It's resistant to radiant. It's resi but I mean, my, my other damage, damage yeah. type is is immune. Is sunbeam immune, is so... chunky. But he has to make a con save. Yeah. It's half damage on Pretty funny. So it'll be double. Hmm. Damage. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, going to do well, it. Well, we have Nova. I'm going to just. I'm currently st stood underneath it. I'm going to sunbeam right through it. <laughs> yeah. Just up through his, his body. Up his butt, out his mouth. Okay. Not out his mouth. So, con save. Ayla. Con save? Yeah. Oh, which he rolls. Sorry, I heard that roll, but you didn't say it. Does that count? Carry on. He rolls a. What was my other portent? Where's that gone? Where's it gone? He rolls a three. I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what's your spell save DC? Uh, 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 ha, 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 he, 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 twenty-two. Nineteen. With nice. the three is nineteen, so he I mean, fails. He failed it anyway. So but... he's resistant, but it means that instead of taking a quarter, he's only he's taking half damage now. Yeah. Give me that zombie. Sixty-eight damage. He chunk, takes chunk, chunk, chunk. 32. So is that good. half already? No, so he takes 16. 16 points. Uh, <sighs> I'm okay with that. Looking pretty badly. The radiant energy of the sunbeam is partially absorbed through its now glowing radiant body as it's adapting to the radiant damage. Stonewall staggering around, holding Ayla in its mouth, gripping down, but it looks towards you, Quill, and it raises its tail up, you know, looking to retributively strike against you when it's ready, um, but uh, not quite able to just yet. Anything else, Quill, on your turn? That is me. Nova Vija. OK. 
Can my echo get to them? And is it 30 feet? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it can't attack them then. It's yeah. not within range. It has to be literally like one more space, and I'd say it could, or actually te technically two more here. In which case, I'm um, move my echo out of the way because I want to keep it up for a potential okay. shadow. Should I just like, move it like over here or something? Yeah, just out of the way of the, whatever this charge attack is that's going to yeah. come is. Um, I want to try attack, with, but I have slashing and radiant damage, and it's resistant to those. So I feel like I've got to keep going with Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels weak, but it's not weak. It does no, decent damage. Damage. Yeah. You also hit three times with it, or four yeah. times. Three times. Three times. Four. Four beams, but oh, four beams. That's right. With Eldritch Blast. <sighs> nope. Um, that is a sixteen to hit. Okay. Fails. Uh, twenty-nine to hit. Hits. 16 points of damage. That's to the head's armor, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go for How the How much head. was it? 16. 16, yeah. Good hit. Yeah. There's a hefty, hefty blow against the armor. It's cracking, but it's not quite broken just yet. I forgot about bless. Shit. You don't have to break it. Though. It's a uh, 15. Not enough. Last one. Last beam. T uh, 20. 3, 24. 24 is not yeah. enough, unfortunately, against the reinforced armor. You see that uh, um, cracked, badly cracked. Maddening Hex, five points of psychic damage. Five points of psychic damage. Hey, listen, right now you need all the damage mm. you can get. Um, great stuff. And also, it's just no saving throw. It's just it takes it, it takes that damage. Let's move me up the way. Where would you like to move to? Uh, to the left. Yeah. My left. It's in single digits, right? <laughs> I like to believe it is. <laughs> Alright. End of turn over VJ. Yeah, that's all I got. Alright. guys. Uh no. It's gonna okay. make oh, a nice. before it does its charge, it's gonna make a tail attack against Quill. Shadow Martyr. Yep, perfect. Nice. I literally yep, you were clearly making it. <laughs> Tiangong dives in front of the way of the attack. There's a flicker quill as the Tiangong moves in front of you. You see hints of uh, almost like water. As it moves in front of you, it almost becomes like a flowing liquid and then mm. and it turn, like splashes and then it kind of just dissipates. Completely absorbs the hit. And it takes the hit. Uh, then it will charge forward. Very cool. Oh, they're definitely gonzo. Right, Sana and oh, who was that? My god. Sana. Yep. Oh. They've become one with the earth now. We don't have to bury him. No. <coughs> and then this finally, is, this is the prequel to the Maya. Ayla is oh. in its mouth as advantage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's still going to hit on a twenty-four. It does. She's only got twenty-five. You're in trouble, son. I, I thing is, I think Ayla's mentality is why escape yeah. when you can Keep kill going. it quicker. Keep going, yeah. Um, and she is taking half damage as well, so I think she might be okay. Well, oh, he just her said out. 42, though. No, so you'll be all right, you'll be all right. 48, half is 24 points of damage. Oh, Are you kidding? She has okay. one HP. 20, 20 one. points of damage. <laughs> Just <laughs> biting down, and Ayla's just like, I'm not food! <laughs> He's done Ayla nearly twice in terms um, of HP. Yep. Yeah. That's yep. nuts! Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, that is its full turn. Uh, Almost 600 last points thing, of damage. Fuck. Trot, Kim, Tom, can you each roll a d6 for me? Oh, no. All of its That's recharge abilities. abilities. Yeah, it's recharge. Two. Okay. Two, doesn't? Five. Five, one. Yep. So uh, everything but its. It, everything but its vomit comes back. So okay. it's erupting. Uh, uh, I mean, it's yeah, erupting the vomit is... Storm Aura comes back. Oh, Storm um, Aura is a bad one. Yeah, that's also a bad one. Uh, then we go to... Rethra. Rethra. Rethra grabs Ayla, throws her down, probably throws her towards Sentry and the others. Nice. Um, mm. uh, do we need to re-roll for his ability? Uh, I'll do it quickly. Uh, two plus one, three turns, but it, that's not going to matter anymore. We come to the last person, the last person who can really make a difference here, Lucius. <laughs> it's all on you. 
If, right. if this is indeed your last turn to do this, Lucius has to kill Stonewall right now. Uh, yeah. Except, aren't you? I know you're up, aren't you? I'm up. He's up. I've got to lay on hands. There it, mm. No, I, it's too meta gaming if I say something. Hello? So you can use your bonus action to use the messenger stone. It's a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could say no right now. Uh, I'm just going to go for the. <laughs> you do what you want. Give him a call. Uh, all right, I'm going to chromatic orb at ninth level, oh. and it's going to be ice. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use my 15 feet of movement to get closer to it. Okay. So I'm just building up this ninth level chromatic orb ice. Like running head. towards it like, ah, like yeah. a kamehameha. Basically, <laughs> I fling it at it. Yep. With my bless. Yes. 20. Did you roll the d4, the d20 already? You just rolled a d4. Did you actually roll the attack roll? Yeah. Oh. I rolled on here. Oh. Do you want a seeking spell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Did he re roll the d4 from bless no. with that? No. Keeps the d4 bless, unfortunately. 8 plus 13 <laughs> is not enough. That's 21, right? 21. However, do I have to hit to do Dichromancy? No, it's just cast the spell. I'm going to do Dichromancy, and with my Prismatic Mastery... Before you do that, so the actual Chromatic Orb, you build this powerful spell, you throw it, but almost like it senses it coming, like some primal instinct, the tail smashes the orb before it has the chance to like build up enough power and strike it and it turns and Stonewall just looks directly at you uh, holding Ayla who looks like she's about to like pass out or like is just furiously trying to hold no, this thing off Ayla's, and Ayla's just Ayla's looks out. down Ayla's out oh the Ayla's out sorry so it just looks at you like <sighs> I pull on that cold that smash from the tail mm -hmm. coalesce it mm -hmm. and I'm going to use chromatic control mm -hmm. to turn this necrotic Mm -hmm. and fling my dichromancy at it with How necrotic. How much damage do you do? It's with the prismatic mastery mm -hmm. and ninth level, well, it's tw it adds 24 to it. So it's my sorcerer level plus charisma bonus is what it says it, mm -hmm. the prismatic mastery So it's, your, it's the level of the spell plus your sorcerer level plus your charisma so bonus. plus yeah. nine on 24, so it's 33. Three? Are you actually joking? 33. <laughs> Are you actually joking? That's what, level nine, plus five. I can't believe that. <laughs> I genuinely Wait. cannot fucking believe that. It is exactly... No way. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And, you 33. and if you'd chosen cold, it would have pushed it over and it would have been resistant to half I of I know, that. that's why I chose And you chose necrotic. necrotic, which you have not dealt to it this entire fight. I was wondering why you, you watch, that. You watch yes. as it stares down, Lucius pulls out. What does it look like? What does the dichro... Describe the spell of like how this attack works. So uh, I literally like... started drooling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coalescing the cold that pulls from the tail, yeah. the smash. And you see it just turn into an inky black. Oh. And it's got a flash of red in there, like Hadares. Okay. Oh. Fling that as well. Is like it like a, a kind of bolt, like a yeah. spear of it? You watch as this creature just turns and it roars, trying to intimidate. And that's the moment where. And it gets lodged in its face and its skull up into its brain, where that armor that Nova had nearly broken just. It stumbles and it looks like it's going to perform one last charge as it turns. And just before it hits Lucius, it slams into the ground, churning up dirt and earth. I stand my ground, only because I'm looking for the... <laughs> you watch, as, trying to you dial watch in. as this green aura begins to form around it, almost like a shell, like it's trying to protect it. And you see, like, um, Vanya and some of the others are like, no, we need to keep damaging it, and, like, trying to fire and, and attack it and things like that. And you watch as this green filled in, and as you kind of pull out the messenger stone um, and you start to call in, Danica's like, we've got it, we've got it! Eren, Eren, do it now! And you just hear this final call, and you watch as that green shell is almost about to complete over Stonewall, like encasing it in, like, a cocoon. And then it breaks. 
The whole oh. thing breaks apart, and you watch as Stonemore goes through rapid decomposition. The armor just fades away, it kind of breaks away, disintegrates, its bones, its flesh melt away as if it's returning to the earth itself. You watch as the bones melt into the earth itself, just blending away until there is nothing left. Flowers and trees begin to grow in the patch, almost forming like a shadow of its outline as it fades down. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> yes! That is, yeah. Oh, the, well done. Yeah. The fucking switch to necrotic. That was, yeah, well played. That was awesome. I can. I'm fucking badass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. good. Oh, my God. You have a few moments. There is victory, but at a cost. Yeah. Morgane and Sana. Dead. Their bodies mutilated beyond simple repair. These would require expensive resurrections to return them to life. As you're even beginning to contemplate burying them, as you are trying to recover your strength of your lost strength, there is a flash of light in front of you. A purple triangular doorway opens up and you see a panicked Valor and Maximilian. <laughs> Champions, you need to come now. Now, you need to come now. And you can see the halls of infinite resplendence in the doorway behind her. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're getting... yeah, we, have, we have to go. Yeah, we have to go. <laughs> they drag you. Uh, you see the others. You see like Rethra, just like go. We'll deal with the others. Go. I'll, kind I'll of like send, calling to you. Stone. We've got to go, and that's all I do. I throw okay. the messenger stone down. Okay. Uh, Rethra will pick it up, and that's the last thing you see as the portal closes. As you arrive in the halls of infinite resplendence, it's just Valor and Maximilian. The halls shake. <laughs> Valor looks at you, weary and panicked. I can't believe it. He was far more cunning than I expected him to be. Um, What's happening? Atelicus. Atelicus, as soon as you defeated those beasts, a few moments ago, I felt him. He was high. I don't know what he was doing, but his domain, he wasn't where I thought he was. He, and she says, it's better if I, we just show you. Um, uh, and she gestures to a wall on the infinite resplendent and she swipes her hand and it almost becomes translucent. And you see the vast oceans of Erois out beyond you, knowing that this point in space is somewhere in the Starfall archipelago, but these just vast oceans. But in the distance, something churning the water, something emerging from the sea. It must be so massive to see it from this distance as you see this form those beasts, they weren't his weapon against Eroes. He was using them, using them to grow stronger himself. And she points, he's here. He's coming for mother. And you all look out as you see a telecus. Not 20 feet, not 30 feet, not 40 feet. Two, three, 400 feet tall, emerging from the sea. <laughs> You have done well, champions. Your skills as warriors cannot be denied. I have learned much from you. And when I consume my sister and my mother, I will be strong enough to destroy Callus and Hadar. You have done everything you need. I will take it from here as a form very similar to the Tarask. Oh, from no. the sea. <laughs> and that is where we will end. Uh, <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, this, this is the is coolest like shit. Oh my Everyone God. in the YouTube comments who was like, I thought it was going to be big. I thought Stonewall was going to be bigger. I was like, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Even someone was like, I was thinking a Tarask. I was thinking a Tarask. And I was oh, like, maybe oh. I was thinking <laughs> We were warned by Starvane! Yeah. We were warned, he said! You wow. were? You now, were? Now we might need him. Yeah, <laughs> Daddy! Oh. <laughs> so, Hell yeah. Uh, oh as a point of God. reference, uh, just because I don't want to scare the shit out of you and the audience, uh, thanks to Valor's magic, you will be able to all take a long rest. That'd be nice. Uh, yes. She rewinds time. Uh, she she will use her godly powers to allow Controls you one it. time generate, like... Displaced uh, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, basically, we'll cover stuff. that. We'll cover that in the next episode. But I don't yeah. want everyone at home go like they've used all their powerful spells. They can't try it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, uh, to be uh, honest, it, uh, I've got spell slots spare. Just uh, you do. not against a what five hundred feet a titan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and and everything you like everything about those beasts. You know all of those immunities and the armor and stuff like that. Yeah, this thing. You're not sure. Weapons might not even work against this thing. Yeah, it's like we might need um some kind I don't of mech or an air or fleet of airships or a giant battleship or something. Yeah, what was that mech called again? The uh, Titan Killer. Way go. Titan Titan killer. Killer. <laughs> but hey, uh, thank you for singing, Riz. I know we went a bit longer. We don't normally do this, but that fight was so close that to finishing. So good. It's a rare thing that we go long, but I felt that that was deserving of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing fight. Really, yeah. really, really cool mechanic. You enjoyed that one? That was yeah, great. That was I so love the. Fun. It was a bit of a long one, but sometimes at high level we can't avoid that. So. I think I might need more just to make sure this was great. Yeah. You know, okay. just to re sure. reinforce. Well, how about a fight against uh, a super Tarak? Oh, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. I'm not joking. Actually, no. It's, it's a <laughs> He's level joking up about not joking now. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. It's basically you're fighting Godzilla. Just as a point of reference, yeah. you are. Fighting I was already kind of imagined with the acid and the charging the breath and oh, all that, yeah. and charging the lightning. I was imagining when yeah. Godzilla super charges. Where do you charges. think? Where do you think Stonewall gets all those powers from? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, from Metallica. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know when its bones melted into the ground? Where do you think they went? This guy knows. Yeah. Godzilla. Anyway, stayed there, didn't go to anywhere. Uh, do we want to quickly blast through some messages? Because I know no, that we want to do a quick acro. Oh, right yeah. Hey, that's hey, what I really want to do. Hey, I forget. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. That's the end of this episode. We'll be back with more High Rolls Roast next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.